still got some VODs to catch up on. Show of hands in chat, is anyone here fully caught up on every VOD? I, I, I'll raise my hand to that one because it's just by default, but I wouldn't besmirch anyone otherwise. Either way, I hope you do continue to enjoy the VODs there, Sibling of War. Siblings of War. You're doing a fr planning on doing the Frugal Challenge yourself. I inspired you. Well, good luck. <laughs> I hope you have better luck than I did with the cactus fruit, at the very least. If you use, if you use the seed that is in the uh, Rules and Guidelines document, then you should be fine. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> at any rate, how's everybody doing today? I see a lot of hands raised in chat. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Thank you. Happy to see that. Snatcher coming in with the with his with the copy pasta. A little late, a little late on the draw. I might have to. Um, I, if you if you continue, because you know we have we have rules against copy pasta during the actual live time of the stream. So be careful with that. <laughs> but I digress. Let's get into our fan art today because, like, holy moly, you guys, I feel overwhelmed. Today we have not one piece of fan art, not two pieces of fan art, but 11 pieces of fan art to go over? What happened? Like, oh my gosh, like it's, it's so crazy to me that like people will like take time out of their day after the streams or maybe during the streams, I don't know, to like, uh, to like draw stuff and it's crazy just like seeing all the different talent on display and all the different styles and everything, but I digress. Let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? Because we gotta we we want to play the game eventually, but we gotta go over the fan art. Starting with this lovely little piece right here from 108 stars over on Tumblr, also known as I believe Witchy Name Mean on dis on not on Discord on Twitter. A lovely interpretation of Chloe with her cactus fruit in hand. I I really like the touch of the lucky bow on top of the garbage can hat. If that was a custom tailorable hat, you know that we'd be doing it yesterday. It's amazing. <laughs> and just a, just a great style in general. I love the colors on this. It's it's very well done. Thank you to thank you to 108 stars slash Namine. Uh, next up, we got a nice little doodle of Chloe from Nico Coer over on uh, Twitter. I believe all, that's also their Instagram handle. If you want to check them out there. Very good in interpretation of Chloe. Just seeing how everybody like sees her and is able to express like their own style through her is it's, it's very cool to me i just love that very nicely done thank you so much to nico for that next up this piece from cobalt cryptid over in the discord almost makes me want to like look up a dual wielding mod and actually install it because we got we do have those two daggers i'm kind of here for her right now the daggers have been good to me lately and this is, uh, this is very compelling. Just very, very nice in general. Very colorful and beautiful. Thank you very much to Cobalt Cryptid for that. Next up, I'm going through these a little bit faster than I usually do because we do have a lot to go through, obviously. Uh, but thank you again. So next up, we got this piece from Ricky the Tiny Man over on the Discord. Just a little Chloe doodle. We got She got that darn prickly fruit at last. It's, I mean, look, look like... Despite how like minimal it is, you can tell the exhaustion on that girl's face and just the in her po in her pose. She's like, she's done for the day. She is absolutely toasted after this garbage hat grind. You can also see a, a collection, a smattering of garbage hats, and over on the other side, over on to her right there. It's <laughs> this encapsulates the grind very beautifully. Thank you very much to Ricky for that. Next up. Another one from Nico over on uh, over on Twitter slash Instagram. This is this is, this is a good interpretation of the volcano mines. Honestly, that the dragon's tooth, the dragon's tooth featured very prominently right there, as it was in the in yesterday's stream, well two days ago stream. But it was uh, I still can't believe. I, there's no way we're gonna get that lucky again with more dragon tooth drops. Not that we need them, but. There's, there's just no way we can keep, keep that train rolling. I'm happy to be where I am with Dragon's Teeth and happy to have had the luck that I did. And this is, yeah, very, very nice interpretation, Nico. Thank you. Next up, 
We got this one from Malehu, just a brief, uh, a brief little kind of meme-ish doodle about what happened in the last stream. If you know, you know. If you were there, it, it, it was about 56 pixels for the big rock. Hey, it's a strategy that worked. I discovered it personally. It's a pixel strategy, pixel examination. Is a, is a real thing in Stardew Valley, and it's strangely effective in, in the one context of the mermaid puzzle, and you know what? <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. Thank you to Malehu for that. Next up, we have this piece, just showing off Chloe in her new drip with, uh, this is by Ophelia over in the Discord. And honestly, like, this is a really cool interpretation of her outfit. Like, the shirt that we have on is called, like, the 80s shirt or something, but it, it looks so much, like, different depending on the context, and I think this is a good interpretation of that. Spare Dragon Tooth, by the way. We're de we definitely could... We have enough for a Dragon Tooth necklace if we really wanted to, or we could get enough, but such a thing does not exist in the game yet until we will it into being. Concerned Ape, looking at you. Thank you to Ophelia for that. Next up... A lovely piece from an anonymous artist. This is uh, <laughs> this is how I interpret or how I see Chloe. She just like gets to Ginger Island, and after her, her massive run around to unlock the Isle Farmhouse at the start, she just collapses from exhaustion and lets the lets the ocean tides wash away at her. It's really, really just evocative. I like that. Very nice islandy colors. It's almost it's almost like watercolor, honestly. But I think this is still like a digital digital painting. So very well, very good. Thank you to this artist. Next up, from Karita Hearts. I see you in chat, by the way, Karita. Lurkers say seven. Do we have any sep do we have any any lurkers in chat? I know it's pretty early for Lurkdom, but now is now is the most fitting time, obviously. This is this is really this honestly makes me want to get an emote that's like the little lava lurker for like lurkers to use instead of, in place of sevens. I think that could be a lot of fun too. So, <laughs> it's, oh man, the fact that these guys are called Lava Lurks is so good. Thank you to Karita for that. It is beautiful. Next up, another one from Ricky the Tiny Man over on the Discord. This is just Ginger Island in general. I believe these are the parrots rebuilding our farmhouse. Um, really, just like yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't know how they do it so fast. This seems like a more accurate interpretation where they have to like go away and bring back materials and it would actually take some time to build a farmhouse, but I'm glad that it doesn't. I'm glad that it's instantaneous so that we didn't have to worry about like leaving the island and coming back and wasting more money on that. It was it's blessed be the parrots. Thank you to Ricky for this. Next up, I believe this is the last one. I think this is number 11. A shrinky dink of a cactus fruit courtesy of Koji over on the Discord. I think Koji also, I saw you in chat earlier. I don't know if you're still here, but uh, I do love a good Shrinky Dink. I used, that. those used to be my jam when I was younger, and it, this is uh, <laughs> this is one that I, that I would have proudly. This is one that I would own proudly for sure. Cactus Fruit. We get some Argon Cactus in, in, in chat if you got it. Thank you very much to Koji for that, and let me just double check. We go right back to the start of the reel here, yeah, so... Thank you so, so much to all the fan artists. Your work never ceases to amaze me. If you'd like to share your own fan art, exclamation point Discord in the chat, and you can uh, join the Discord server. There's a fan art channel over there to share whatever art you're working on, whether it's work in progress, whether it's, you know, doesn't have to be uh, the Mona Lisa. It can be whatever you want to share. Let me know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited. You can also tweet it at me, at Argon Matrix. DM it to me, however you want to get it to me is totally fine. Thank you, thank you all again. I'm just overwhelmed by the sheer uh, dedication some of you have to this sort of, to this little corner of the internet. All right, let me look back at chat because I was anytime I do the fan art thing, I have to like look away from chat for a good while. But uh, welcome in everybody. I think I saw Leap a lot in here for a second. I don't know if he's if he's lurking about now, but uh, hello Leap if you're still here. Hello Elaine Clover. Denia, everybody. I see all sorts of familiar faces. June, of course. June. Did I see your game vibe? I'm very sorry. I, I just keep it keeps it keeps slipping my mind for whatever reason. I know you have shared it on the Discord. I just need to go out of my way to actually check that out. I got some time after the stream today, so I should be able to do that. 
But with Pickle Jar Rag, we haven't heard this song in a hot minute. And I think, uh... <laughs> oh, thanks, Leap. Gotta go back to work soon. Yeah, fair enough. I appreciate you dropping in at all. Good to see you. And have a good day. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, with Pickle Jar Rag to kick us off, I think that's as good a time as any to head into the actual game. What do you say? Let me go ahead and uh, hopefully Stardew doesn't crash like it did at the start of the last stream. It was a, it was a minor hiccup, but I still don't don't like it when things are unreliable in that uh, opinion. In that opinion, what am I saying? I'm just, it's not off to a great start when I'm using the wrong words already. All right, I'm gonna switch on over here. I will mute the music so that we don't have pickle jar rag uh, trampling all over the Ginger Island theme here. Opinions on today's copy pasta? Hey, Snatcher, it was it was a little late, but I appreciate the effort all the same. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Why are buckets the best thing ever? That's a that's a statement. <laughs> I don't know. Buckets are pretty good though. All right. So, what are the plans for today? Priority number one, as far as I'm concerned. We gotta get into the walnut room. We are at 96 golden walnuts. We need 100 in order to access the walnut room. We are so, so close. If we can get ourselves into the pirate's cove and play some darts, I've been told that that will yield three more golden walnuts. And then uh, from there, we only we just need to find one more beyond that. Which I'm sure we can do. Like there's gotta be more in the volcano dungeon or something like that. Um, another priority. On day 20, go to the Pirate's Cove. It does have to be an even number day for whatever reason. These pirates are very finicky. Next thing you're going to tell me that I need a cactus fruit as uh, as an entry fee. Let's head down here and check for our muscles and our artifact spots and everything. Um, another thing I did want to do, or I was thinking about doing, is some enchanting slash forging. I think that if we put some extra damage or something on our dagger, that could be pretty good. We also do have our one prismatic shard. Do you think it would be a good idea to just try, just use that one prismatic shard, just go all out and try for the powerful enchantment on our axe? Because that's the one that we absolutely need, undeniably. I'm just looking for artifact spots. I'm, I've, I've been told that I can search much farther on the beach than I think I can for artifact spots, so I should just be perusing that pretty much every day. Galaxy Sword. The Prismatic Shard would be good to hold onto for a Galaxy Sword. However, we also have access to, like, Dragon Weapons and Dwarf Weapons now that we're on Ginger Island. So, I don't know if the Galaxy Sword holds as much value as it might have once had. Could just be me, though. Monster Muckle! Thank you for joining the, uh, for becoming a YouTube member. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Electron tier. Enjoy your new emotes and enjoy your sword. Be careful while you're swing that thing. Thank you very much. Always good to see you around. Thank you. You have full access to the forge? Yeah, we do We do have access to the forge now. We unlocked it last... Uh, well, not last year, like the first time we were on Ginger Island, so... Leave the Prizzy for now until you find a better weapon. What do you mean, better weapon? We have a Dwarven Dagger. It's the best weapon by a landslide right now, at least until we find the Dragon Dagger. I'm going to put it up to a poll. I've been doing a lot more polls lately. This is a democracy after all. Enchant, copper, axe, now. Yes or no? Hit me with your opinions and we'll uh, we'll just carry on for the time being. We, we probably won't do it today regardless. I'll probably just uh, let that poll ride for the day and then we'll see where we're at. Ooh, the island resort. I forgot that this is like the first time we've been here where it's not like a rainy day, but no one's here. I mean, it is 8 a.m. I don't know if they take like some time to show up. I have no earthly idea how this, uh, how this place even works, to be honest with you, but it's here and it's ready. Hey there, Pyrus. Welcome to the stream. Happy to see you. Island Trader. Let's see what you got again. Because we got our banana sapling last time. There was a whole big debacle over that. The deluxe cowboy hat. There's some good drip from this guy. We need more tarot roots. That's what I'm learning from, from this experience so far. First time here live. Welcome, Tomas. Or Thomas. How, I, I'm, not, I'm never quite sure how, how to pronounce a name like that. But uh, with the accent and everything. But uh, welcome. 
Happy to have you here. Always appreciate a first time watcher. The magic copper axe of wellness. Yeah, we gotta upgrade our copper axe of wellness to its fullest potential. I'm with you on that. We also have a ruby here, which I believe was an attack buff on our on our dagger if we want to go that route. I am open to that possibility for sure. I left my dragon's teeth at home. That's okay, we'll just get more. They show up around 11-ish at the resort. Got you. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do. Let's just do a, an early volcanoes run here, shall we? I'm here for it. Let's keep that. We want to keep. We want some roots platters if we want to go deep at all. Um, honestly, magma caps are probably going to be good enough food for us. But it couldn't hurt to have an extra, a second stack though of food because 19 is a little closer comfort. All right, I think that's good. But we should also, you know what? I should probably just like wear these Cinder Clown shoes for now if I'm going to be tackling the tackling the dungeon repeatedly. The leprechaun shoes we will not forget, but for now, I think this is smarter. Bird trader versus hat mouse fan art, please. <laughs> I don't have that in my ability. I don't have an artistic bone in my body, but I would love to see it for sure. Okay. Let's head on in, and I'm just ready to shake off shake off the rust. You know, it has been a full day since we've last been here. We didn't have a stream yesterday, so I need to make sure to get my bearings. And I think the best way to do that is to just jump straight into the fire, quite literally. Inside, we're inside of a volcano. This is not a good spot to be to begin with. Get get out of here, please. Thank you. I should Roots Platter up as well, but I like to kind of wait until we actually get to the, uh... Like, into the dungeon proper before I do that. Oh! Oh, my Dragon Tooth! No! <laughs> Did you see it go flying? That's why you want two full inventory spots, so I have learned. Or to have your Dragon Teeth ready to go. Man, that sucker flew, though! Oh my god! Did you see that? <laughs> it just, like, bounced off my face and went careening into the lava. At Mach 10, that was amazing. <laughs> I kind of love that. All right, uh, so we need to we need to at least have one inventory slot now because we have the bone fragments. Anytime we kill a lava lurk, so that is good intel. That's karma for being too lucky. Hey, you know what? I'm not even that mad. If I if I needed more dragon's teeth, I might be a little peeved at that, but we all know the situation with that right now, so I'm not too concerned. So our main course of action right now, I think we, 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 we literally just want like one golden walnut, whether it comes from here or from uh, like farming or who knows what else. I don't care. We just need the one because then we can apparently get three from the pirate cove. And then, uh, uh, and then we'll be able to see what percentage of perfection we're at, which I am very, very curious to see personally. I honestly don't know if I have a good metric for how close we really are, because I don't know what all the different um, categories of perfection, how they're weighed out. Like, how do the obelisks and stuff compare to, like, your shipping? I know it's all, like, separated differently. Like, some are tracked by percentages, some are kind of an all-or-nothing pass-fail system. It's, um... It'd be interesting to see how. I'm sure that I'm sure if you knew everything about this, uh, about how what we've done so far, you can math it out and figure it out. But I'm just more excited to have the game tell me personally. I think it's around 40 to 60 percent. I honestly don't know. I think it could. I think it could be considerably higher than that, or it could be you could be exactly right. We will we will find out today. You mark my words on that, though. There's no question about it. I don't know if we have any more that we can get from these, uh, from just monsters. But I see no reason not to kill them right now. You should take coal. I haven't needed coal so far on Ginger Island, but I'm told that it is a very valuable resource around here. So I would be open to the possibility for sure. I just don't know what I need it for specifically. I'm sure that will come to light in time. But you know what? I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to sacrifice some slime for that. Is 
just looking at chat. Sorry, I don't I don't want I don't want to risk like being in the mines and just standing there while I'm watching while I'm looking at chat. I'm 80% sure the last random nut drop is from Volcano Rocks. I have not been doing a lot of mining of the rocks. I kind of avoid them. So maybe we do some of that and just uh, hope for the best. We'll see. We can always go talk to the parrot as well at Leo's place, right? And he'll tell us what uh, or where we might be missing some walnuts. That could be a strategy if worst comes to worst. I was 99% yesterday without having the last recipe and still 99% having it. 99% perfection. That is wild. <laughs> we're getting close to, our, to that ourselves. We will be there. We're, we're right on your heels, Lisa. Use bombs. Maybe bombs. Yeah, I mean, we did bring like a like a solid like 20-something bombs. We should probably put them to good use at some point. I do kind of want to keep the tarot tuber. I don't know if I want to sacrifice any of this. Maybe we just uh, eat one of these. Because I, I do want the Omni Geode, I really do. I think it's a good play. Because we do still need some stuff from Omni Geodes, and this is a good place to, to get them, is Ginger Island. So we might as well invest. Invest in our future. Alright, ooh, I see another Lava Lurk there. Uh, I do want... I We don't really care that much about Dragon Teeth anymore. I need to internalize that. Part of me still wants to go for it, just be, just for, you know, brownie points, but <laughs> I know that uh, I have more important things to tend to, obviously. All right, let's, um, let's deal with these guys, and then we'll cross over here, and we'll be in a good spot. I do also want to try and get back to the resort in time to see if there's people around, but I don't know if I'm going to... I probably need to move a little faster if I want to actually do that. All right, let's go. Like, let's just try and speed run a couple of these floors. We want we want to get later into the dungeon if at all possible, anyway, for more chest potential, or to maybe get the chest that's in uh, that's on level nine. That would be a nice spot to get to. What would be my dream game? I mean, honestly, I don't know. I feel like uh. It, it kind of depends on on the day almost on what kind of games I, what kind of game I would like like I do like obviously a good uh, a good sort of like casual simulator style game like Stardew Valley and that sort of thing but I like puzzle games I like action games honestly like my preferred franchise probably on the whole is uh, Dark Souls so things like that but obviously that's not uh, you can't just you can't just go and make a Dark Souls game. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. I don't I don't have any ideas off the top of my head, unfortunately. I'm not that creative, and also, also I'm trying to focus on staying alive. But while you're dying, I'll be still alive, and when you're dead, I will be still alive. All right, let's head on in. Got some crates here. Pineapple seeds we don't really care about. Magma cap would be nice, but not. Mission critical. So I think we go. You've been playing Dark Souls again? Dark Souls is so good, just in general. I mean, Elden Ring and Dark Souls, they're peas in a pod, obviously. And ooh, ooh, I kind of want, I kind of want some of those. My inventory space. <laughs> All right, we don't need a Terra Tuber right now. I feel like a Ruby is a good idea for potential, a potential damage enchantment in the future. I was entertaining that idea of putting some extra damage on our dagger so we don't have to rely so heavily on our root splatters and everything. And that would be a good, uh, it's a good catalyst for that, obviously. Just run, just run. That was, a, that was the straightest shot I've ever seen through a volcano. Oh my gosh, this is a mushroom floor. I'm not going to concern myself too much about it. We just keep going. It's a nice, uh, I'm just going to take it as a blessing that it was a nice short floor. That was, oh my gosh, did you see how quick, how efficiently we dealt with that uh, magma sprite or whatever it's called? Are the two different, uh, like the orange and the yellow variants of those guys, are they called different things? Like I want to say like one's like a magma sprite and one's like a 
Cinder Sprite or something, but I don't know if that's actually accurate. Eat the second the Roots Platter for one more inventory slot. Great minds think alike. Now it's just a matter of what to use that inventory slot for. Magma Sprite is orange and Magma Sparkler is yellow. Ooh, I kind of like that. Excuse me? It's a curiosity lure. We don't we don't need that at all, but it is cool to see it. Okay. Make our way up here. Great puzzle. That's a great puzzle right there. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping that would be the only pressure plate and I would look like a genius. And the game had to go and humble me, as it so often does. Alright, where where's the other one lurking? Speaking of lurkers. Magma lurker? Get out of here. I don't, I don't like being burned, but it's not as bad as I think it is, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's worse, though. These, these guys are definitely more persistent than the magma sprites. There we go. Dragon Tooth? We want, we want a dragon tooth, just just for fun, just for just to say that we did it. That we got, we need at least one dragon tooth per day. I feel like we're not gonna be able to hit him from here, so let's do like something like this. Inventory management simulator. There we go. Bone fragment. It was worth the try anyway. It was worth a try. Um, second button. Where's the second button at? It's like, oh my gosh, they make you work for this one. Holy moly. I didn't think it would be this far out, far removed. Hey there, Casey. Welcome to the stream. I did see like a cinder shard node there, but we got we got a bucket if we want to make it out of here in time, because we still have to go through all of floor nine. So let's uh, let's make hay while the sun shines, shall we? I think we're too far along to retreat now. Let's go. Okay. Go for the button. Avoid. I'm just going to avoid the slimes as much as I can for right now. Until I am forced to confront otherwise. Oh, my... The puzzles. I, what the heck? I don't even need to be here. That's a dwarf scroll? I thought it was... <laughs> for some reason, my brain... I, I don't know. Maybe I've been watching too, much, uh, too many RuneScape videos. I've, I've only watched, like, one <laughs> in recent times. But I was thinking that was a clue scroll from RuneScape for a second. Okay, we want to get over here. That is a good chest. This is a great chest. What could it possibly be? It's an ostrich egg. You know what? We take those. We absolutely take those. Ostrich eggs are pretty good loot, as far as I'm concerned. Let me go ahead and uh, top up here. Be very careful. We don't want to get too big for our britches. Get me out of here. Excuse me? There's there's so much. There's there's too many enemies. All right, I'm I'm out of here. I'm starting to get a little more confident with my ability to handle the uh, volcano dungeon for sure. That seemed that felt like a good run to me. That's a good place to start us off. Biggest achievement today is getting a RuneScape party hat. Those things are so expensive. <laughs> Nowadays, I was not I was not playing RuneScape at the time when I could have gotten one uh, from an actual event. So I'm jealous for sure of that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave the sashimi there. I think we what else what what do we need to take here? Cinder shards we can leave, and we just take all the rest of this and go. Vamanos. For Leo's birthday, Leo does like ostrich eggs. That's true. I remember that was in his loved gifts list, so that could be a potential option. But I, I am starting to be more inclined towards the idea of just giving him the pearl. I don't want to be too precious about it. People are probably gone, yeah. I'm sure it's 11 p.m. No one's still hanging out at the, at the island resort unless they fell asleep in the sun. All right. Drop all those in there, and we're good. Can you really go backwards through the quick exit to the forge? Uh, can you? Wait, can you just, like, go... You can just go straight to level 9? 
from by just going backwards from the forge. Is that true? For some reason, like, I, I realized in my mind that that could theoretically be a possibility, but then I was like, no way. There's no way that he would design the game like that. There's a gate blocking you. Okay, yeah, that's that's why the gate's there. All right, that's that makes that makes more sense. <laughs> that's why there's pressure plates and everything. Can make a puzzle fighter game like a bit like Street Fighter. It'll have careers and stuff like that. Sounds pretty cool, Vod. Best of luck to you. All right, I'll go to sleep for the night. Yeah, I think I'm good. All right. Finally, we have reached an even number day where that is not raining for the first time in forever. Which means that after 8 p.m. tonight, if my sources are to be believed, it's Pirate Cove time, baby. I don't know what awaits us in Pirate Cove necessarily. I know you can play darts there. I don't really know much more beyond that. But I'm excited to find out. In vivo with all of you. The poll is still up. You are correct. The poll has risen to a whopping 81% of uh, people wanting us to go enchant the Copper Axe. I am willing to do that today, for sure. We need things to fill our time anyway, so let's go ahead and end that poll. And we're going to take a crack at it. I'm sure if Blade was here, he would be able to tell me exactly what enchantment I will get from, from this, but we don't, uh, we don't worry about that. It is something that is predictable, I believe, the enchantments, but as far as our purposes go, we'll just we'll just get prismatic shards until we until we get the enchantment that we need. Any tarot roots grown? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Off to a good start today. Your Google Drive sheet still says you have to buy blueberries, by the way. Does it really? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. Um, Evil Pichu, thank you for the ten dollar or ten euro super chat. Thank you so much for this great project slash your pod plus your positivity. I'm still a vod watcher at part twenty five, slowly catching up. I cannot attend the stream too long. Lots of greetings from Germany. Thank you very much, Evil Pichu. I'm glad that you're uh, so so invested in the challenge that you're willing to support it like that. Can we get some um, some argon love for Evil Pichu. That is very very nice. Thank you so much. Hope you continue to enjoy the vods. Think I can buy the TV now? Not sure, though. What do we got? We got 20... 29? 29 tarot roots? We need 30. A day late and a dollar short. Why did I come back in here? What I was... I was thinking of doing something. Oh, my, my checklist. My Google Drive sheet. Um... Let me see. Still have to buy blueberry seeds. It looks like it's checked off to me. Are we, are we sure you're looking at the right one? There are two different checklists in the description. There's one that is for the stream... And there's one that's just like a general purpose one, but maybe I'm, I don't know. For some, for some reason, it looks fine to me, but I could be blind as well. Anyway. Oh, I get what you're saying about the blueberry. Okay, we, it's, we do have it checked off, but I see. So the fact that the reason that we can't just like wait until Ginger Island to get blueberries and um, grow them from mixed seeds like this, is that you need blueberries in order to complete the community center, regardless of remix bundles. You need at least one blueberry, and there's no other way to get blueberries other than to buy a single seed from Pierre's, so that is, um, that is a necessary expense still. Yeah, that's, that's, I think everyone's on the same page. There are, there's, a, there's a couple of people mentioning that, so... Alright, I should probably, if I'm going to do this enchant, I should probably, like, bring the Prismatic Shard, huh? Also, I don't know if I have enough Cinder Shards. I wasn't keeping track of that. I need, what, 20 for an enchantment? Or more than that? We'll find out shortly, I'm sure. Final start next week. It is that time of year, I suppose. I've been out of school for so long that I don't even internalize that, but... Best of luck to you. Also, the axe. You know what? Great point. <laughs> Good catch there, Jenga. Thank you. Hey there, White Witch Namin. I appreciate the fan art this earlier today. Thank you. Thank you. Or I showed I showed off your fan art. Yeah. I su I assume you're the same Namin anyway. <laughs> And 
Anyway, yeah, we need the axe to enchant the axe. It is, uh, it is an unfortunate reality that we have to face. We've been waiting on this so long, right, by the way. This copper axe has been a staple since very early on in the stream. Technically, for those who might not be caught up on all the lore, you don't actually need a copper axe. You can just do this with a basic axe. So this is currently our only, like, extra expense that we weren't able to go back on because... We were, we were late enough in the challenge that I didn't feel like re that it felt wrong to restart. I didn't want to kill our momentum like that. Copper Axe of Wellness. I think it's just, it's a good it's a good thing to keep in mind. You know, sometimes it's best to live with your mistakes rather than to demoralize yourself and everyone else around you by trying to rectify them. If, it, if it'll take like a significant amount of time and effort. So that's where we're at with that. But this Copper Axe does still require the powerful enchantment because only a steel axe or stronger can get into the secret woods but with this powerful enchantment the world will be our oyster what do you think can we get this can we get this in one go put the copper axe in put the prismatic shard in there chat it doesn't tell me it doesn't tell me right you just got the trash hat congratulations Chat, I need all of your energy here. Put your put whatever you feel is the most powerful emote that is available to you at this current moment into chat right now. We need all the power to get the most powerful copper axe you've ever seen. Just just think of a powerful emote, whatever that means to you. Like one of, maybe one of those strong arm emotes or or something like that, and do do wonders. We 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 spam around here. We wait for we wait for the spam. I see you all channeling your energy, channeling it all into this one copper axe. It has been with us for so long. It is a an iconic part of stream history. Let's do this. Copper axe. Press the right button maybe. What do we got? It is efficient. It is efficient. That's a rip. That is unfortunate. That was our only prismatic shard available to us. But that's okay. You know what? Efficient. Used to chop wood. What the heck does efficient even do? Is that just like uh, like lower energy consumption or something? reset <laughs> it's not a reset because we can get more prismatic shards and re-randomize the enchantment otherwise i'd be with you but as it stands that is not a reset clause copper axe it is regardless of whether whether it were or not it was the right one it is our very first enchantment ever in this challenge or in any of my other playthroughs so that's kind of exciting for me for me at least to have an enchanted tool at all but obviously it is a little disheartening can't reset either way. Yeah, it's it's always seated to be. Well, we could we could like enchant a different tool with efficient if we wanted to, but no energy no energy drain. What the heck? It's broken. That's actually like crazy to me that like there's an enchantment that gives you zero energy drain. Maybe the no energy challenge is uh is viable yet. Our enchantments forever. This enchantment will last until we re-randomize it, as far as I know. Once we put, once we get another prismatic shard and some more cinder shards, and we do that whole rigmarole again, then we'll get a new shot at an enchantment. But until that point, it is with us. Yeah. Test it out. All right. So we got 330 energy. We chopped down this tree. My energy does not seem to be going down. This is actually busted as heck. But it is very late game, I suppose. Yeah, 330 energy. Look at that. So we can at least chop down trees for no energy cost, if that matters to us at all. Ooh, that's a pretty little butterfly. Nice little rainbow butterfly. All my hardwood, please. I see a panning spot as well. Let's go ahead and take care of business. Uh, I will deposit all this for right now. No, my panning spot! Oh man. That is a good incentive to get the TV, though, so that we can do more panning here when we know that our days are at their luckiest. Uh, I should probably... I mean, we can leave, we can leave all this in chests. We can, we'll, we'll organize and sort through our chests 
on Ginger Island at a later date, I'm sure. I'm not super worried about it right now. At any rate. Ooh, a little artifact spot. Don't mind if I do. These Omni Geos, they're so common around here. This is crazy. Let's head down to the resort. People were saying that pe that uh, villagers can show up at the, at the island resort as early as 11 a.m. Let's go hang out. Let's let's see if we can find some familiar faces. Who is going to be our first visitor to the resort? I'm excited to, to see. Could it be the one we've been dreaming of? It's Maru. All right, you know what? Oh, and Caroline and Abigail. We got a whole whole bunch of people around here. You know what? It's a solar eclipse. Oh, never mind. It's just your body blocking the sun. <laughs> Are you calling me fat? Come on now. No, it's, just, it's a matter of perspective. I know. Caroline's trying to take a nap. Standing up. Are you sure about that, Caroline? An island this big has got to be hiding some buried treasure. Beat you to it. I beat you to it. Get me a shovel. What else do you gotta say? Relax. I'm just kidding. Chatterbox today. An island this big has got to be high. Oh, she's 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 broken. Help, help. She's broken. She's a broken record. Fitting quote. Haley says she's just gonna stay right here. She's so happy. <laughs> Haley will be very happy when she heads to the island for the first time. I'm excited to see that. Human contact for the first time in so long. They didn't seem like that, like, uh, excited to see me. Even though I've been gone for almost a full month. And they, they, maybe they just didn't notice. Maybe I'm not that, not as special as I think I am. Uh, let's go give Leo a gift, shall we? Have we, have we done our gifts for Leo for this week? We have done our gifts for Leo, so never mind. But that's all right. We've got his birthday coming up regardless, so we can worry about that. I guess we go ahead and do some... We can do some more Volcano Dungeoning. I don't know if there's much more we can do on Ginger Island beyond that. I think uh, I think the Volcano Dungeon is kind of where we're at right now, huh? At least until we get the Pirate Cove. And then we can go from there. So let's, uh, let's make hay while the sun shines. Wish, wish we could take Tim Beam here. I'm right there with you. Oh, hey, Leo. He's sad today. Poor Leo. He was shy the other day. He's sad today. Do you think it has anything to do with his island resort? He's like making actual human contact for the first time in so long. And he doesn't know how to interpret it. It's got to be very overwhelming, all these changes to the island. I feel a little bad about it, but... What can I say? It's it's a challenge, Leo. We got to do what we got to do, unfortunately. Welcome to the stream, Gail. Glad to see you. Get the materials to build a seed maker and we can speed up Terra Roots. Honestly, probably a good idea. Probably a pretty good play. Seed maker, we need a gold bar, coal, and wood. But in order to get a gold bar, we need a furnace. At least one furnace. So we need copper ore and stone. We had some copper ore hanging out over here. No, we use our copper ore here, but we do have all this stuff. We might as well bring our ores back. Might as well bring these tarot tubers back as well. Probably, it's just, it's, I think it's just a good idea to invest in some, into in a furnace at least. Regardless of whether or not we use it for a seed maker or what have you, it's probably just going to be good to have on hand in case. The parrots built the resort, not me. I, I mean, that's some... It's a transient property, though. The transitive property. I gave the golden walnuts to the parrots. And we can just keep going back until we get to, like, the, the start of the universe, basically, and just say that it was uh, it was the Big Bang's fault. Okay, we do have some copper ore right there. Did we get the dragon teeth we needed? We did, indeed. We did, indeed, believe it or not. And it wasn't even close. So let's go ahead, if we can get some, so we need what, we need, we need more copper ore, we have enough gold for a, uh, to make a seed maker. 
We have all the gold bar or the gold ore to make a gold bar. So we just we really just need the copper ore and then we're kind of in business. We do have the banana tree. We have the banana tree. It's already on the go. I don't remember what specific exact day we planted the banana tree. But 28 days from that day, we'll be in business, baby. And then 38 days, like like 10 days after the banana tree is fully grown, then we'll really be in business because then we'll have our 10 bananas and we can pretty much just head out from Ginger Island at that point and build our obelisk and establish our two-way travel between the island and, and home. We'll be in a good in a great spot, dare I say. All right, let's go ahead and take all our stuff here. I don't know. I'm probably not going to spend too much time in here, so we're not going to worry about bringing an extra roots platter. Let's just send it. You still have nine copper at the resort chest. The resort chest. I have three chests. I don't know. I, I, do I? Or at the, or the dig site chest, maybe? I don't know. I, I looked at the dig site chest. I did not see any copper in there. I don't know if I saw any in the mines chest here, or but... Uh, you know what, I'm in here now, I've already eaten the root splatter, so let's at least make the most of what we can do here. Excuse me? I'm, 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 oh my gosh, I'm just hemorrhaging HP here. Let's get things under control. Alright, that's good, that's good. Uh, we, we have, yeah, actually we should clear out an extra inventory spot in favor of, um, bone shards. Still a good idea to stock up on those, I would say. There's another dragon tooth. It's just that easy. The teeth start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the lurks and I hit the ground running. There we go. That's a dagger moment right there. <laughs> Dagger moments are real things, it's true. Like, I'm not totally blind to the downsides of the dagger. Don't get me wrong. But the upsides are pretty big as far as I'm concerned. It's so fast, it's so powerful. That special attack is beyond good. It's honestly unreal. Alright, so we're looking for copper ore. So let's actually, you know, take the copper ore when we see it. Didn't make sense just to mine for fun. There's, a, there's our first uh, first established copper ore. We got more copper ore over there. I don't remember how much I need, though. We have the set. I think we have, what, seven at home? Something like that. Let's just stock up on what we find here, because I did see at least one more rock further ahead. Right there. Like, the special attack, the fact that the special attack cools down so quickly for us is, I think, what makes the dagger so, so much better in my estimation. Other, otherwise, it would not be nearly as good if we had to wait, like, twice as long for that special attack cooldown. We'd be in a much worse spot. Probably heal. That was a little close for comfort, I'm not gonna lie, but there we go. I'm gonna pop on out of here, because we got the copper ore that we needed, I think, anyway. And then we can just go to the Pirate's Cove once we once we're out of here. So let's just make a getaway while we can, while we're early on. Need at least 20. At least 20 copper ore. We got 15. I think we had some at home, though, I'm pretty sure. We'll find out shortly, though. Okay, go ahead and swap all this around. Good stuff. Good soup, good soup. I see you're in the Volcano Manor. Have you fought Rickard yet? Or Rykard? I understood that reference. I did fight Rykard, by the way. In my own Elden Ring playthrough. It is, he was a... Uh, he was a very interesting boss, to say the least. What do we need from Volcano Chests? I, we've already got the Ostrich Egg, which is which was the main concern, I think. But I think there is still some more stuff we can get from Volcano Chests. On, I, I honestly have not been uh, super diligent about looking that up, though. 
I've just kind of been going off of, uh, you know what, I'll get what I get, and if I need to grind out more volcano chests, then I will. But for the time being, I'm not super concerned about it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just, we'll just pop down a furnace, like, right here for now. We don't need to worry about making a big old furnace setup. Let's go to the Pirate Cove, shall we? It's about time. Finally. I know the music around here is a fan favorite. A lot of people seem to love it. It is kind of, uh, from what I remember of the Pirate Cove music... You could already get a taste of it out here. Jam along. Oh my god. <laughs> it's more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. What are these guys up to? Green? His name is Green? You were you were always Mama's favorite? Wah, ah, 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 ah. Wah, ah, ah, ah. Mamma mia, calm down, the brother. Youch. Alright, I understood that reference too. Hello? Yar, matey, ye must have a keen eye to have spotted our secret cove, yo-ho. No, I just read the wiki. Well-dressed pirate, ahem, yar. Not convincing, huh? So this is where Morris went after he, uh, after Jojamar failed. To tell you the truth, I don't really want to be a pirate, I'd rather grow plants. Unfortunately, there's no money in, in the palm business. At least the parrots seem to like it. Does this boat go anywhere? That seems like it's, uh, that's DLC content right there. Pie rats. All right, what do you got, buddy? Grim pirate from yonder seas, a chilling tale, a nightmare sure to haunt your sleep. Twi Ooh, here we go. It was midnight when I lost me hands to a savage monster of the deep. Yar, it is true. Dot 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 dot. Is it Morse code? Is it the worst Morse code message I've ever seen? All right, I'm just kidding. I actually lost them while trying to fish an eggshell out of the blender. That's a, that's a bra moment. Alas, me famous cake batter days are over. These poor guys. At least they're making the best of the situation, right? This is Dart Man. Care for a game of darts? You got 20 darts to score exactly 301 points. We'll come back to that. I'm pretty sure that's our golden walnut ticket. This man's in a stupor, as we as we all are from time to time. Boy, Gov. Grog and Tasties are for the pirates only. English, please. <laughs> they're both in a stupor. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy, but this it, I this is a monkey. Is this correct? It's it looks like those monkey type things in the volcano caldera. I don't know what the actual real lore is on that though. Yo, is this my ancient fruit wine? I recognize that label anywhere. Anyway, let's let's give some dart. Let's give these darts a shot. Always gonna turn off the bet blender first, indeed. Let's give these darts a shot. I don't know how this game works. I mean, I know how darts work. Oh, this is weird. Okay, 301 points to go. We want to go for we want to go for the the triple. That's 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 not the triple I was necessarily hoping for. Okay, something like something like that. No, okay. I'm I'm probably not gonna be very. I, I, I didn't know that this is how this game worked, necessarily. That's one point. This feels so weird to control. Whole, like... If you've never done this, it's very, like, my, my cursor's moving all over the place. I have very... Okay, is that looks that look good to me. That's a 60 point? That's a 60 point. Move your mouse in circles, maybe? That helps a little to stabilize it. I see, I see what you mean. It could be a little disorienting, though. Eh. That's pretty good. We need to get exactly... I'm glad it keeps track of the points up there for me. I, I didn't want to have to do the math on that one personally. That's going to be not... That's going to be too high. It's a lot easier than darts in real life, I'll tell you that much. I wish I had this helpful aiming reticle in real life. Okay, 57 points. 57 is divisible by 3, so it's, it's 19 divided by 3. So we want to hit we want to hit the triple 19 down here if we can. I don't know if that's going to do it. He's just the best to ever do it actually. You won in 9 throws. Well sink me. Sploosh. I get some sploosh vibes from this guy. Flashback to the trials. Oof. I still need to catch up on all the trials. I I I, need, I want to binge it at some point, but I haven't watched the whole thing yet. Golden Walnut acquired, so we can get three from this uh, thing. 
So if, if we win if we win the darts game three times, we get walnuts for each one. Is that correct, or did I just win three walnuts right there and I wasn't paying attention? Are I'm gonna count the pixels to solve this game? No, this one's a pure, test of pure skill. Yes, yes. Okay, so we keep going. We keep going. We 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 send it. It's darts night, baby. That should. I don't know. I, I would debate that one. Maybe I'd count the pixels on that one in order to, like, judge. Judge. I need a judge. I think it's within the triple. That that one, I'll, I'll give you. That one was a little low. This one's probably also a little low. I don't know. It feels like, uh... At least we hit within 20 range every time. Come on. <laughs> that, that, there's no way that one didn't hit the truth. Th uh, this game is rigged. I mean, they are pirates. Okay, all right. They give me that one. They throw me a bone every once in a while. Hit it. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful shot right there. All right, 81. We still, I mean, you can't get 81 in one shot, obviously. So we just go for, I guess we're going for triple five, apparently, for some reason. <laughs> okay. Eat. So now we need six points. So we could we could just go for a six. And that would solve all our problems. I was I, for some reason I was thinking of going for a triple two, but I don't need to be that fancy about it, right? That's some good throwing. There we go. We're cleaning them out. We're cleaning them out in all in one fell swoop here. Let's do this. Alright. You know, we gotta go for at least like a few bullseyes though, is the thing. I know obviously like the triple twenty is the is the is the better play. But you gotta try you gotta try for a bullseye or two. As bull! That's what I'm saying. It's only 25 points, though. I thought they were supposed to be, like, 50. Or, oh, yeah, maybe we hit the bull, but not the bull's eye. Oops, that's that's just terrible. <laughs> Gotta get at least one bull's eye. It's, like, in the name of the game, practically. Bull's eye! There you go. That's more like it. All right, we've done it. I'm satisfied. Now let's go for the meta play. You only get 10 darts. Careful. Oh, man, I didn't even notice that. I thought it was... Okay. So we got to be a little more, a little more finesse with this one. I think we can still pull it out though. We have five arts remaining. I just got to take my time on these a little bit. Yeah. That'll do it, I think. Nice, nicely done. That's not going to do it, but it'll be get us within the range. It just gets within striking distance. 47 is not divisible by 3. We don't want to go for the triple, obviously, though. What's the best play here? Do we go... I feel like I could go... Tr what if I go triple nines? And then I can just go for 20 if I, if I manage to hit this. Okay, that's just, that's just 9. We got 2 darts. 2 darts to make this happen. We could go for just two nine, du like double nineteen, and if we if we hit this the just one nineteen, then we'll be in still a good spot. Okay, that's that's still that's that's fine. That's fine. We just need to hit the nineteen. We just need to hit the nineteen. It should be the easiest throw of all time. No pressure. No pressure, kid. No pressure. There we go. Okay. <laughs> A little close, a little close, but we, we did manage to make it. Three for three, we're all right. If it isn't me old, we, we old matey old, me matey old steady hands, we got a pirate name. We're old steady hands. Yo, how about a game of darts for old time's sake? So if we did this one again, it would just be nothing, right? But who would I be if I didn't go for a victory lap? Oh, you're, you're going to give me the full 20 for this one? Did I not prove my worth on the last game, sir? All right, we just we just go all in now. We now we now we go lightning round. This is lightning round. You don't you don't you don't get to spend a lot of time thinking on it. You just go. Just for funsies, I can I can work with that. This is lightning round time. That's a good shot. That's a good shot right there. Oh man. Okay, not as good as I thought it was gonna be, but it's fine. It's fine. We still we can still make this work. That's a triple five. That's just a one. That's just one five. All right, send it. Come on, that that was right in the money. That's right in the money maker. 
Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that could not have been more on the X, and I'm glad that they recognized it for what it was worth. Go. Ooh, I wasn't sure about that one. I wasn't sure about that one. All right, uh, the 15. Where's 15 on this on this stinking board? Right, freaking there. That might be a 10. No, we're good. We're good. I almost hit the triple 15. That would have been bad. All right. That's old steady hands for you. Not too shabby whatsoever. Absolutely cracked. GG, now you can go get a drink. Do I have to pay for it? Grog and Tasties are for the pirates only. Sir? I'm old steady hands. Maybe you don't recognize me? If I, unless I, maybe I have to stand next to my, uh, my magnum opus here. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little diversion. We need exactly one more walnut now in order to get our, uh, in order to access the walnut room. Let's head on home. Actually, you know what? Let's head up. Will, will it let me into Leo's place? I want to talk to the parrot and just see. We should have plenty of time to get home still. This is Help Man Intent. That's Professor Snail. We we know that we can still get some from him, but we don't have the we don't have that much control over that one because we need like snake snake spines and stuff. Did I already dig up the walnut in the cove? We did. Yeah, we did that yesterday. Or yep, last stream I should say. Not a true pirate yet. Not a true pirate. I want to be a pirate on the river Saskatchewan. And it's a heave ho, hive ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. No one's going to get that reference whatsoever. If you do, you're a legend, but. All right, um, right, let's go to bed. How cute is Leo sleeping? I didn't want to mention it because I felt like a bit of a weirdo being in a child's room while he slept, but he was pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. All right, go to sleep for the night, yeah. Like, it's okay if it's, like, your kid and you go into their room when they're sleeping, but if it's just, like, some kid that you happen to know, a little bit sus, not gonna lie. Captain Tractor? Hey, if you know, you know. <laughs> All right, let's drink, drink the chip, triple shot espresso here. We got another rainy day. We can we can go looking for a gem bird. Also an omelet from Gus. Don't mind if I do. We are waiting for Gus to come to the resort. That is a thing. I wasn't sure exactly how the resort worked. I I, I didn't know if Gus would be a good uh, or like if he would come on specific days or what. Because we need him to come here so we can buy the tropical curry recipe. Why does it rain so much on this island? You're telling me. All right, so gold bar. We also we wanted this to make a seed maker for good taro root potential. So let's make that happen. Just so we have it on hand. You can make a farmer's lunch. Do I need to make a farmer's lunch, or is it just something I can do now? Hey there, Drea. What do we need before we leave the island? We technically could leave the island at least one time right now because we do have the island warp totem. It might be worth it, honestly. I know I've said many a time that I want to go, that I want to wait until we get the dragons, to, or that we get until we get all our bananas and everything, so we can just build the island obelisk. However, it does not escape my intention that we have a guaranteed golden walnut from our first golden coconut. So if we head back, we crack that one open, that's immediate walnut room access. How do we feel about that? Because I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I necessarily want to give up on the obelisk grind. But that is very tempting. That is very tempting. You could bring back the slime charmer ring, you could bring back wheat 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 seeds or wheat uh just wheat to make into seeds or whatever. 
we have the walnut room already. Let's have a look. If he, if we do, then uh, then I'm just, I just look like a fool here. You hear a strange voice from behind the door. Only the greatest hunter's man through your current status is 99 of 100 walnuts. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, unfortunately. I didn't think my math was that bad, but thank you for double-checking, just to be sure. And we were not uh, fooling around here for no reason. Restock with the things you need. It is It is somewhat tempting, for sure. But then if I betray my own ideals, because I could have just, I could, I could go and I could, uh, get, like, the fossilized skull and everything, too. Although that would be more annoying to do with, like, the restrictions we have on warping between the island and everything. So maybe the play is to just, uh, go for this one golden walnut. And then, um, carry on from there. Coconuts for the desert obelisk. We got the coconuts right here, so we're good for that. We could, I mean, we could bring them home and then we could, well, I don't want to spend, spend too much time at home. I still want to be on Ginger Island for the most part. I want to, so I, I wouldn't want to sp sleep at home and wait for a cactus root and everything. Pirate's wife quest. True, true. There are good reasons to go back and um, I'm not totally blind to them. It's so tempting. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna take a poll. We're gonna take a poll right now because I could see it going either way. I'm personally inclined to honestly still want to stay on the island a little bit, but I could see there's definitely justifications here. So should we take a trip back to the mainland? Yes or no? I have a banana tree in my greenhouse. Not in my greenhouse, but I have one growing on the farm here. On Ginger Island. It's, uh, it's over here. Still got a ways to go. We will put down our seed maker at the very least. And I'm gonna go ahead and at least take, uh, take the old crack at, uh, or take one good crack at the, uh, volcano dungeon while we wait on this pole to terminate. Oh, I should actually check. There might have been some terror roots. I didn't really look to see if any terror roots had grown, because if we only need one more for the, um, for the TV, right? Bombs? You know what? I will bring some bombs today. I will bring some bombs for sure. We do have some terror roots here. So we can actually get ourselves a TV now, which we wanted for specifically, um... To be able to check the luck so that we know what good days are for panning. So let's make that happen, shall we? So we got 20. We'll take uh, 10 more and be in a good spot. And then I think what we do, we actually probably want to... Uh, well, we don't need to take all that out. Put one of them in the seed maker right now. The, the lone seed maker that we have. And then we'll start, our t start restart terror root production. Welcome, Red Bean Bread. Happy to see you here. We are on Ginger Island now, so we, we did indeed get the cactus fruit. View streams back now. It's been it's been a whirlwind ride ever since. And I'm happy that you're here for it. Tropical TV. We got Tropical TV. We also have Luau Skirt we could save up for. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. But for right now, I think the Tropical TV is a good investment in our future. It's also just like... I don't know, it's just a statement. It's just a statement of pure architectural bliss. Bone shards for tarot. Can we trade bone, star bone shards for tarot at the at island trader? Is that another out for us? I honestly <laughs> might have been blind to that. Queen of sauce. Maki roll. I mean, it, we are on an island. This TV is so much bigger than our one back, at, uh, back on Frugal Farm. <laughs> I'm not used to the widescreen, man.
I'd be willing to trade some bone shards for terror roots for sure. I think having more terror roots is not a bad idea. If you go back to the island, put the blue discus in the fish pond, it makes bananas. But we have the banana sapling all ready to go. So I don't think I don't think we're gonna be too pressed about bananas necessarily. The fish ponds that I'm looking into pursuing in the future are we need the sturgeon fish pond for caviar. We need to do that just like a very brief side project. And then uh void salmon would be the next one for void eggs. So many ideas flying around. That's the crazy thing, is that right now, after the, now the cactus fruit was literally like the linchpin that opened the, it like broke the dam wide open. And now there's so many different ways we could go with this, especially now that we are a decent ways into Ginger Island too. The world really is our oyster at this point. But I just gotta go with what feels right to me in the moment, I think. So let's go ahead, we'll take all our requisite materials here. And just do a little, we'll do a little searching of rocks and stuff with these bombs for, um, for a last golden walnut if we do have more waiting in the rocks. I don't, I don't know for a fact that we do, but I think there's a good chance. We can finally play the game. That's a very good way to put it. Caviar also makes for a nice hat in the tailoring system. I believe you are correct with that, actually. That's one of the ones I was looking at before. Going back for the slime charmer ring also would not be the worst idea here. These, these, these tiger slimes put the fear of God in me a little bit. Maybe not necessarily deservedly so. Maybe I just need to get better at handling them. Like that. Alright. Um, I would like the tarot tuber, so let's just do that. More dragon teeth, please. I need to bolster my collection. Thank you, thank you. One more for the <laughs> one more for the necklace. Alright. So we can start we can just start our bombing expedition basically wherever here. And just pray for golden walnuts. At the end of the day, I think is where we're at. Whether or not it works out remains to be seen. I'm going to get some coffee going as well. Would the bird let me know if I had uh, if I had golden walnuts available from rocks? Or is that... Uh, I should clear out one for bone fragments as well. Or is that... Does, does the bird have like hints for every single possible golden walnut source so that you can know without a doubt? Or is there certain ones that you just have to like... Find on your own. What's your plan with merging rings? I'm still honestly not sure at all on that front. I can see it going many different ways, though. No golden walnuts so far. I don't know what the what the odds are. On I'm getting one from a rock, though. I got a rock. There are a couple walnuts the parrot doesn't give hints for. It has hints for most golden walnuts, but not the pirate's cove. Okay, well, we, we got the pirate's cove taken care of, so I'm not concerned about that. But that is good to know, for sure. Quickly juke this guy. This little blarg from Super Mario World. There we go. Cup, just two more dragon's teeth on the pile. No big deal. No big deal. A little copper, honestly, might not be a bad, bad investment in our future. Like, we literally just need one singular golden walnut, and we'll be... We'll be laughing. We'll be laughing. We open the. We open up so many possibilities to us. To ourselves. I think, anyway. I, I just want. I mean, really, I just want to see our perfection percentage. I'm not even going to lie. It's a bit of a selfish endeavor.
This feels like I would have got, like, I feel like I was getting them at a pretty consistent rate. There is a journal scrap, though. That's kind of, that's, that's an interesting take for sure. What do you got for me? "'Twas a rain-drenched day, and upon lonely rock a beautiful maiden saw I. Tales I'd heard of the seaborn maiden singing siren songs, yet nary a note she muster. Could she muster? The next morning I spied an arrangement of stone upon a foamy bank. Aye, stones as big as pennies and stones as big as nickels, were they. Very clever. Very clever. If but this harried sea dog a tune could howl, perhaps to Black Gull's treasure would she lead. Black Gull's treasure, kind of stinky, I'm not going to lie. For a pirate's treasure, he's just harboring like five golden walnuts or something. I feel like he could do better than that, Black Gull. Come on. Too little, too late. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure when he said nickels and pennies, he was talking. He, he meant 13 pixels and 56 pixels. Or 12 pixels and 56 pixels more accurately, I suppose. Ooh, this looks like it could be a chest up here, actually. That's what these uh, structures often signify, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could get something good out of this. It's not like the like the most premium chest I've ever seen. I should also top up here. Let's see. That is a ring of some sort. Um, the protection ring. Stay invincible for a little while longer after taking damage. More iframes? More invincibility frames? Probably better than the Soul Sapper Ring, but uh, not one I can really see myself using that often. But maybe it's uh, maybe it's broken in certain scenarios. I don't know. It's trash. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> say it so matter of factly. I feel like there could be some value in this ring. Maybe not for us. Maybe not exactly right now. But I th I could see it in some capacity being a good ring. All right, I'm going to make my way back backwards out of the mine here, honestly. Because I feel like this is a futile effort. I feel like if we want to progress in any meaningful capacity right now, we have one of two roads ahead of us. We either sleep until we get um, our banana sapling grown, our, our full banana tree grown, or we take our one island warp totem and go back to pelican town for a brief restock mission and despite what my pride wants me to do despite the fact that i would be more interested in just sticking around to your biting the bullet and uh, getting biting the bullet and getting all the resources that we need for our obelisk i realize that it's probably more in the best interest of the stream and your and entertainment value in general and the, the challenge as a whole to make the pilgrimage back. And it seems that 59% of you agree with that assessment right now, based on this poll. Since 59% of us want... want 59% of people want to take a trip back to the mainland. Listen to Audrey, there's one walnut at your fingertips. Go left at the entrance of the volcano with your watering can. Go left at the entrance of the volcano with your watering can. I will try... I thought I'd done that one already. But I'll give it a shot. Also, I did I did ask, but we never we never actually physically checked for ourselves to the right. So let's let's quickly look just to verify with our own two eyeballs that there's nothing to the right here. You know what kind of is there? Yeah, this is this is a dead end right there. You can see that already. You know what does kind of smart too is that when we were preparing for Ginger Island, we were talking about bringing the slingshot, and I was like, oh, the slingshot is only required for one walnut. What's, what are the odds that one walnut's going to be the difference maker that is going to be the the difference between greatness and sorrow? And here we are. Chat said you already did it. I'm willing to double check, though. I'm pre yeah, I'm pretty sure we did this as part of our initial run through in order to get the island farmhouse. Yeah, yeah, it was the it was these two bushes. Good keeping an eye out, though, just in case. Never hurts to be extra sure. A little redundancy can go a long way. 
You should fish here sometime. In the volcano. <laughs> Looking for more lava eels real quick. Let's go to the parrot. Let's see what the parrot has to say. If I keep talking to the parrot, will he give me different hints? Like, all like all over the place? Or is he only, like, a one-hint Marty per day? Yeah, let's check with the bird in Leo's house. I'm with you on that one. I feel like this is, uh, this is smarter than just blindly clamoring about hoping for the best. What do you got? Hello, Leo, by the way. When it rains, strange birds visit. I try to speak to them, but then they fly away. I guess they don't want to be friends. My guy, he's so heartbroken. This poor guy. Alright, what do we got? Cribbit Gurp. I think that's the frog. Cribbit Gurp. He changes his hint every day. Yeah, he's gonna give us the same one. So this this is the frog. He's telling us to like grow more more wheat and garlic and stuff for the frog, right? We did get the one in the shipwreck, yes. Fish on the left side river for another walnut. Three easy walnuts once the bananas have grown. Once the banana tree grows, you can do the gorilla thing for the walnut. Okay. So, those those really are our options right now. Either wait for the banana sapling to grow to its fullest, or head back. And I am personally willing to, to make a brief sojourn back to Pelican Town. I think it'll be nice. It'll be a sight for sore eyes after all this time. I know we did spend so many years there scrounging the garbage cans for, for very little rewards. Until we finally reached, until we finally hit the jackpot, obviously. But I think that's, I think that's the play right now. So, yeah. Now the question is, I, yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to commit to. 61% of people do want us to go back to Pelican Town as well. That's what I'm going to commit to, and, and it's it's final. Have I hit the tree in Leo's house? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, that was that was one of the first ones we did when we did our uh, our run for the island farmhouse. All right, so couple a couple things to consider: what do we bring back with us to Pelican Town, and what do we um what do we bring back with us, and how do we get there? Because we can take we can just take the boat. I'm pretty sure that's free, right? But we can also do this. Oh, we can't do that, actually. We're one shy of a warp tower. All right, so we got to take the boat. We just got to take the boat. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's free on the way back. Is, it, is, that, is that right? We could also do an island, a farm warp totem if we wanted to. We just trade for one at the island trader. Okay, war memento to get more walnuts. We cannot, as far as I know, if I'm remembering how the quest goes, because I've seen it done before, the war memento thing, we can't do it right now, can we? Because we have to talk to Sandy, and she's not available to us. So we'd have to go back, we'd have to grow more cactus fruit, and then build the desert obelisk, and then go talk to Sandy and, and do that whole thing. Boat is free, alright, good to know. Yeah, we could do the desert obelisk. I don't know if I don't know if I want to spend that much time on in Pelican Town. I kind of want to like go there, get my things done, and come back to Ginger Island so that we can continue with the role that we got going here. I feel like that's that's the play for in my in my mind. Bring back the coconuts for the desert obelisk, the island warp totem, warm memento. Don't back. Don't forget to come back for Leo's birthday. We'll be back in time. Don't worry. Geodes, geodes are a good call, probably. Although maybe, maybe not. If we don't, if we want to, it depends what we want to do when we get back there. So when we get back, when we get back to Pelican Town, sorry, I know, I know this is not the most enthralling thing to be watching on screen, obviously, but I'm just trying to think here. When we get back, what are we doing? We we want to crack open one golden coconut. I don't want to crack them both because I don't really want to go for the the fossilized skull right away here. 
I'd rather do that on a day when we have more leeway with what we're doing. Um, we could bring some Geo Crushers back here. That's that's very that's a fair point. But then we'd need to hold on to the artifacts until we go back to Pelican Town. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it either. Yeah, don't forget the Warp Totem. Obviously, the Warp Totem is, is very pivotal to the success of this mission. Very, very clearly. Snake Charmer rings? Do you mean Slime Charmer? Or are we is Snake Charmer something else? Do we need our tools back home? It's a good question. It's a, it's a good question that I do not have a great answer to. I think what we want to do... I, I, think, I, don't, I don't want to complicate things too much here. I think what I want to do... The goal of this expedition... Let's, let's not lose focus and think about... Oh, what if we go to the desert? What if we do this? What if we do that? Yada, yada, yada. What if we just keep our focus in one spot, right? Let's go home. Let's we'll pick a couple cactus fruits so we can get more go so we can get more growing while we're gone again. We can take the golden coconut to Clint's, get ourselves a golden walnut. And then we can come and at that point honestly, I'm I'm okay like we gather whatever else we want to bring back to the island and we just come back. I think, yeah, I think, agree, just get in, get out. I think that's honestly what I want to do right now. Because I still want to, like, I want to get access to the walnut room to see what we have available to us, and then I want to... I mean, at that, at that, part, at that rate, should I maybe just... Just wait for the bananas at that point? I don't know. Bring a wheat seed back? We could bring back a wheat seed. We can bring back a wheat seed. Okay. So let's make a list, shall we? Let's make a let's make a list. We're gonna go ahead and bring back. All right. Let me take a step back here. Let me clear my mind and think about. I'm not gonna look at chat. I'm not gonna get to let chat chat distract distract me for right now. I'm just gonna think what I need to do here. We are gonna go ahead. We're going back to Pelican Town. We need a golden coconut. We need the warp totem. We don't need specifically anything else, I'm pretty sure. The coconuts, obviously, are for the Desert Obelisk. We'll do that in our own time. I honestly think this is all, all we go back for. We'll go tomorrow, yeah. We're not going to go right now. Both coconuts? We could just we could try to grind out this coconut thing, but th here's the thing: is that the coconut grind is going to be a little more touch and go because we need to like break geodes and stuff, and it, it's a whole thing. I think we just bring this. I think we do this. We crack open the golden coconut. We'll bring back with us when we go to pe go to Pelican Town. We'll bring back a wheat seed. We don't have garlic seed, so we can't do that. Um, we'll bring back the slingshot. Is there anything else that's uh, that would be? We'll bring that. We'll bring the slime charmer ring. Might as well bring both and leave it there. Bring the sew the sewing machine and cloth. I could be persuaded. Buy the island obelisk before going back to the island, so you don't have to spend one k more for the boat. That's what we got the island warp totem for. We don't we don't currently have the materials for the island obelisk. Otherwise, it'd be a no brain no brainer. Let's see, totem, golden coconut, warm memento, regular coconuts if we have space. Coming back, wheat seed, maybe geo crusher, cactus seed. Does does a cactus seed grow on Ginger Island? I've been told like the, the wiki says they only grow on in the greenhouse and in garden pots and stuff. But if a cactus can grow on uh, Ginger Island, then that might be a good idea actually. Slime ring, slingshot, wheat seed. I think, yeah, I am overthinking it. I'm taking way too long on this. You're absolutely correct. But uh, <laughs> I just don't want to, I don't want to make a mistake that I can't take back, you know? Ginger Island acts like, acts like a greenhouse. Cactuses can only grow inside. Everything grows on Ginger Island. Everything can grow on Ginger Island. 
You can grow it inside on Ginger Island. Wiki does say they grow on Ginger Island. Let me double check that. Let me let me fact check you really quick. Let me see. Cactus seeds. Uh, cactus seeds can be planted cannot be can be planted outdoors on the farm. Cactus plants may only be grown in the greenhouse or inside on in another building using garden pot or on Ginger Island. Okay, Ginger Island does work, according to the wiki. Yeah, I think this is where we go. Leave the coffee, you have enough back home. We're, we're going to make this a quick trip. We're going to make this a very in-and-out uh, style operation once we go back to, once we get to, get back to Pelican Town. Hello, Zaniela. So let's go, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do, do what I feel is right here. I think this is what we bring, and then I think we bring back, um, we'll bring back Cactus Seed, Slingshot, Slime Charmer Ring, and Wheat Seed. I think that's the play. I've, I've said it, I'm going to commit to it. I'll bring these tools just because I don't see a reason not to right now. They're, they're with me, so I might as well hold on to them. Let's go. Let's make, let's make some magic happen here. Bring Coconut as a souvenir for Haley. I kind of don't want Haley to know that we're back in town. <laughs> I kind of want it to be a nice reunion, but you know what? It could be nice. Could be nice. Alright. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Let's just commit to it. Okay. This is what we're doing. Let's go. Let's go home for the first time in a long time. It has been very it has been close to a month that we've been on Ginger Island already. Twenty-two full days, because we came on the first day of summer. We're gonna take a quick trip back home just to restock and refuel, and then we will be back in action here. So let's just let's take a quick peruse down on this lower part of the beach, just in case. You never know when you're gonna find a wayward snake spine or something. Walnuts are more important than Haley. Don't say something you can't take back. Okay, uh, take this, and we'll. You know what? I'm kind of with you. We'll bring, we'll bring the war memento at least so we have it back home. That way you don't have to worry about bringing it back later, but this is fine. That's that's. I'm not going to think about too much more about it than that. And now, is there a time that the boat leaves is my next question. Let's have a look here. We have yet to go down here. Return to Stardew Valley. All right. This is our moment. Need a present for forgetting Haley's birthday. You make an excellent point. You make a fantastic point. I have been persuaded. We did miss Haley's birthday this year in our whole uh, excitement over the cactus fruit and our rush to get to Ginger Island and everything. We did forget that. Let's get. Let's bring her an island fresh coconut, shall we? Have you gotten all five walnuts from harvesting non-regrowing crops yet? I do not know, honestly. I honestly don't, but. I don't know if I want to sleep through the days to find out either. We're returning to Stardew Valley, so shall it be said, so shall it be done. Look at my little froggy head poking over the side of the boat. Was Willie here this whole time with us, by the way? What the heck? <laughs> he was just hanging out in the boat that whole time, just to sleep? All right. Nice and early in the day. Let's make our way on over to, uh, I guess Clint's doesn't open till 9, right? Oh my gosh. It's what is what is what was old is now new. It it feels so familiar, but so strangely different. All right, uh, let's just let's just head on over towards Clint's. We will wait for him to open. Was there an artifact spot? We'll hit it back. Well, I guess we're not going to be heading back down there actually. So let's let's hit up the artifact spot while we're here. Show me an ornamental fan real quick. I'll take it. Artifact spot. Did, Alex, did you really have to do that to that poor oyster? My guy. <laughs> Alright, mixed seeds. Mixed seeds are kind of inconsequential right now, but it's fine. Check the board. 
There are new quests that unlock here after the board, right? These are none of these are new though. Check the check the trash for old times' sake. What do you got for me, Clint? All right. Hello. A sight for sore eyes. It's not necessarily the first person I wanted to see, but uh, here we go. So, for the first time, for one of the only times in this challenge, this is a new cost. Can we get some Argon Greed in chat? New cost. We don't have many of these left. Process Geodes. This is one tough nut to crack, but a professional might be able to break it open. I know no man more professional than Clint. 25 gold. There it is. Golden Walnut 1. Hundred. It had to be done. It's a necessary evil. You can tell that he has no remorse about it in those eyes. Those are cold, dead eyes, as far as I can tell. There we go. Let me check check one of those off my checklist here. That is one of two golden coconuts cracked. He's cracked. We edit our totals here. Change this from 40 to 65. A very, very minor expense in the grand scheme of things, but every dollar counts, unfortunately. We can go up and look at the Forgotten Bundle. That is true. That's true. We can, we can check out the Forgotten Bundle. It did unlock to us while we were on Ginger Island. My gosh. <laughs> it's so foreboding. We have a lot of work ahead of us here. Actually, not that much work. I mean, most of this we already have under control. Or at least a couple of these we have under control. The rest will are easy enough to, to find, so... We will deal with that eventually. That's what they... Ooh, pardon me. That's what they call foreshadowing. Yo, Greg! How are you doing, buddy? He hasn't encountered any crows yet. It's alright. It's alright. Okay. Swing by Haley's really quick. Give her this... Oh, a train? You shouldn't have. You, sh you really shouldn't have. Now I'm so tempted. <laughs> I'm conflicted. Haley? Happy birthday. It's, it's a little late, maybe? It is her favorite thing, though. Double exclamation point. That's a beautiful sight. Oh my gosh, that fills me with all the warm fuzzies in the world. I recognize this parrot. What the heck? There you go. What do you got to say? I, we, it's been so long. We, I don't have any time to reminisce. I'm sorry. We got we got other things to tend to. Hey, Haley Bot says she's bored. She's bored without us around, and now we're going to leave her behind just as quickly. Hope she likes frogs. Yeah, she might not even recognize us. What do we look like after almost a month on, on a deserted island? Not really a deserted island, I suppose. Now comes the real heart wrencher. He's around here somewhere. Timby, he's sleeping by the mailbox. He's waiting for mail from us. This smartest little dog of all time. We brought our watering can. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This poor, this, he's so happy. Look at him. He's running and oh my gosh, Tim Beeb. I've missed you so much, buddy. Staring contest? I won! I won the staring contest that time. First time I've, we've won. He he gave me that one. He he didn't want me to leave, so he's like... Oh, Tim Beeb. It actually, like, it, like hit me kind of different how... Like, when we saw Tim Beeb there. That's so precious. Oh my... Getting back all this familiar stuff. I know it really hasn't been that long. It's only been a couple streams since we've seen this place, obviously, but in the context of the game, it's been it's been weeks. It's been weeks. I didn't bring my fishing rod. It's all good. Okay. Um let's let's get things under control here. It it's almost enough to make me want to stick around some more. Cactus fruit. <laughs> oh, the cactus fruit. We have another coconut here. This is a trash coconut. We don't want to besmirch it. We got island coconuts, but we also have our trash coconut here. War Memento, you're sticking around. All right. Uh, we put away our mixed seeds. Actually, mixed seeds. We don't. We need to start up a new collection here, I guess. Go ahead and put all this away. All right. Where is our slingshot? 
That is one of the things we need. Slingshot right there. Okay. Check that off the list. Um, wheat seeds. I don't know if we have wheat seeds ready to go, but we do have wheat right there. So we can just, um, just bring one for seed maker. So we have a seed maker over on the island. We'll be fine. We want to head in here. I, I thought of it like mere seconds before we came in. Pickles are a rag. <laughs> Basically part of the family. Some more coffee. We'll get some coffee on the pot. Oh my gosh, the traditions. They're all flooding back to me. All my stone owl friends. These cactus fruits. It's a good time to be me. Bring two. Please bring two. Bring two in case. Bring two wheat in case of mixed seeds. You make an excellent point, everybody. Leap a lot. Leap a lot screaming at me from at the top of his lungs, coming out of lurk them just for this. Excellent point. Quick Junimo cart. Uh, we're not going to do a quick Junimo cart, but I'll I'll do you one better. Welcome to the show. Looks a bit crowded with all the owls. They're there to keep Tim Beeb company. He needs some friends. All right, we'll quickly nag nab all these battery packs. All right, Slime Charmer Ring is is our next course of action. I think that's a good idea to have if we're going to do more Volcano Dungeon stuff. Where did we leave it is the real question. It could be up here. Slime Charmer Ring right there. That's a full inventory right there, but we can Seed Maker these Cactus Fruits. We might as well, because we want the cactus seeds rather than the cactus themselves. Let's go ahead and do that. Honestly, you know what? Might as well do this while we're here. No reason not to. We do have a seed maker on the island, but if we're here anyway and we're doing this, there's no point not to. There we go. Six. We were worried about bringing a second one. We just got six wheat seeds out of this. What are we worrying about? I am tempted to bring the jukebox as well, but I honestly would feel kind of bad leaving Tim Beeb in a silent house. Like, I don't, I, like I'm already... We've seen him once and we're going to be leaving so soon after. I don't know if I can uh, do that to my, to my poor boy. Do you think Tim Beeb is super confused about the new hat? He doesn't even recognize us. Oh no, I didn't think about that. All right. Um, I think we're good. I think that covers our bases. We got our cactus seeds. We got our wheat seeds. We brought the warm memento. We're not going to deal with that quest yet because we need to go to Sandy. Make another jukebox. We could make another jukebox. Bring more coffee. How much more triple shot can we make? Uh, I want to leave some for apparently it's like a chi cooking quest, but we'll top up to 60 at least. Lucky lunch for more dragon teeth. We don't technically need more dragon teeth, but I appreciate where your head's at. Sugar for ginger ale. Ginger ale is luck, right? We don't really need that much luck right now. Make more roots platters. I think we, I don't, I think we made all the roots platters that we could already. Geode Crusher. You know, we do have room for Geode Crushers. We might as well. It, it will be it will be kind of annoying if we have to bring back the artifact, but we'll uh, we'll make peace with that. I think it'd be better to have at least a few Geode Crushers. We might as, we might as well bring all of them. They're gonna stack, right? So might as well have some use for our coal over there. Okay, is this what we're going back with? Is this our plan? Sashimi, bring some coal. Could bring some coal, but we do we can we can get coal on the island. I'm not super worried about it. We can, we can farm up coal if we need to over there. Okay. Welcome back, mis misunderstood opossum. This is our uh, I think this is our loadout. I think this is what we do. I think we say a quick farewell to Timby. We'll be back again soon, buddy. Don't you worry. He's sleeping amidst the trees. This is going to be a overgrown by the time we come back. Equip the slime ring to open an inventory slot. I kind of want to get there and combine the slime ring with something. I don't know what yet necessarily, but I feel like combining it with the with one of these rings honestly is not a bad idea. 
Or maybe we combine these rings and then put the slime ring on uh, after. I should I should have considered that maybe, but it's fine. All right. I think we're ready to go. Let's um. It's a night. It was nice. It was nice getting back here. I think it's been a, a good time to restock. But back to the island grind. We're just we're just an island girl, doing living in an island world. Just double check and chat in case. Tailor your boots. <laughs> no, I think this is fine. I, I kind of like how the Cinder Clown shoes look anyway. All right, we're off. It can't be undone anymore. I mean, it could. We could li literally just reset the day. Vincent, what the heck? <laughs> He's just standing there waiting for me. If you look close, you can see little bugs jumping out of the sand. This dude does not even change his outfit for uh, for an island resort. What, what on earth? You got the whole family here. The view is breathtaking, deep blue as far as the eye can see. Except Kent's not here. Check out these gnarly waves. Guess what? I'm going to save up for a surfboard. What? Why does that not surprise me? Where did uh, Shane go? The sand is piping hot. I regret not wearing shoes. I love that it's like this entire family, ex except for Kent, and then just Shane. Shane's just like here. <laughs> It's all right though. Okay, so let's um let's take care of business, shall we? We want to grow cacti. We'll have we'll just have a few cacti right out front here. Bop bop bop. We will have all our wheat growing. I'm not super concerned about making this the most aesthetically pleasing thing that you've ever seen. Except maybe I am in secret. There we go. I will pop down a few geode crushers to get that to be, to the, get that train started. Uh, honestly, you know what? Geode crushers, we'll just have a whole big lineup right here. Right in front of the cave. We don't go up there that often, so... Yeah, actually, you know what? I feel like I could... Uh, let's make it feel a little more little more like home. We'll just do it like, like so, maybe. One, two, three, four, five... Get rid of this for right now. We don't need it. I will pop down my Junimo cart machine. Uh, we'll move that for there right now. Put that right in front of the window. Now it's starting to feel like home. We're actually moving in here. It's beautiful. They grabbed the wrong traumatized adult male. Leap a lot with the <laughs> cutting deep. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, so let's let's not waste any more time, shall we? I think we obviously have the slingshot, we have the slime charmer, so we want to combine rings. We got a whole bunch of random stuff to do, yada yada yada. But we did get a golden walnut. At the end of the day, that was the main impetus for going back to the to the mainland to begin with. We got our last, not our last golden walnut, but our hundredth golden walnut, which means. You know what it means. You know what it means. This has been a long time coming. Coming? What did I just say? <laughs> long time coming. And I am ready. I am here for it. I'm honestly a little nervous to see the inside. The price of perfection. Finally getting to see the perfection-based room. Before that, though, to, to put you on a bit of a cl cliffhanger here, or at least to get things involved. Let's do a poll. What percentage of perfection are we at? Let me, let me set up some options for you. We're going to go less than 50%. We'll do um, 50 to 70%. We'll do 70 to 9, 7, we'll do 70, here we'll do, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it proper, 51 to 70%, 71%, 70, 70 to 90%, there's, so there's no ambiguity, and then finally, 91% or more. I'm interested to see where people think we land. I know what I'd vote in this poll, but I'm not going to sway things here. 
I'm just I'm just curious, honestly. You guys might be disappointed here. As I've said before, we'll we'll take a quick stroll down the beach to look for artifact spots while we wait for the poll to to run its course. As I've said before, the um, categories for perfection are weighted all very differently from one another. So, despite the fact that we're pretty good on like our shipping stuff and on our fishing and everything like that, we might not be that um, that close as far as the perfection tracker is concerned. But we'll see. We'll see. We we shall see. At any, way, at any rate, I would let this poll go longer, but honestly, I'm just too excited to actually see the number myself that I don't want to. I don't want to let it go too long here. 95 votes in. 48% of people think it's going to be between 51 and 70%. I think honestly, I might be getting overly ambitious. I think that's a low ball, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll find out momentarily here. Let's do it. Hello, my friend. I haven't even completed this guy's quest to open his casino yet. <laughs> and here I am at his home base. Well, 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 look who's made it to my secret walnut room. I don't even know who you are. I'm truly impressed. We've never met before. Even though you only needed a fraction of the walnuts to gain access to the island, you decided to push yourself further. You decided to enter the secret door. Your desire to enter the secret door was so strong that you went above and beyond to get inside. Literally reading my mind, li reading how the stream went, we went above and beyond. We broke our own code to go back to the mainland for this. That drive is what sets you apart, kid. You've got a very special energy. And that's not just because you're wearing a frog hat. That being said, you weren't under the impression that the challenge ended here, were you? Oh my god, no. The challenge does not end for a very long time yet, Mr. Key. Mr. Chi, I misspoke, I'm sorry. In fact, the challenge has just begun. This guy actually is, like, scary. How, how accurate this dialogue is to what's going on here is kind of scary. On your left, you'll find a board with some very interesting opportunities. These challenges, which I've designed just for you, will push you to your very limit. However, if you can successfully conquer my challenges, you'll earn an exclusive currency. I call them Chi Gems. They're, uh, they're backed by the blockchain. Just so, just don't put them in your mouth, kid. They're highly radioactive. That's a yikes from me. You can use the machine on your right to trade these Chi Gems for rare and powerful rewards. They're called NFTs. Sound interesting, doesn't it? Yes, I have a feeling someone like you will enjoy this very much. Now, if you excuse me, I have important business to attend to. Well, that's all well and good, Mr. Chi, but, uh, I'm here for one thing and one thing alone. There's more to this world than meets the eye, kid. Someday you might understand. For now, just keep striving for excellence in everything you do. I I would do no less. I've, uh, I've not, have I not proven myself already by searching thousands of garbage cans? All right. It's you and me, Buster. Don't disappoint the people at home, please. Please. Here we go. 61%. Okay. You got you guys were honestly right on the money. That was kind of like directly down the middle of that 50% to 51 to 70% range. 61% perfection completed. Not bad. Not bad as far as uh, as far as I'm concerned. We got a lot of crafting recipes and cooking recipes to go. Start all all star drops. No, we're still waiting on some there. Great friends, 94%. Farmer level. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. 61% is, is good. Eight percent away from true perfection, excuse me. My my math. Alright. Well that's all well and good. Now we just have to Oh my gosh, we actually have options for things here eventually. Galaxy Soul, I'm probably never going to happen. Never, Not even going to worry about it. Aquatic Sanctuary. Heavy Tapper Recipes. We need all these recipes, so we're going to need... Oh my gosh, we need... <laughs> we're going to need a lot of Chi Gems. What do we got on the board? What do you got for me, sir? Your task is to make it to level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Bruh. Give 50 love gifts in one week. 
All right, we'll have to worry more about these when we have uh, easier access between Ginger Island and the mainland. For right now, we're sticking we're sticking around this place, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. For friend Leo, and your percentage will rise so much. We're working on it. He's got his birthday coming up pretty soon here. I should give some more gifts to him. It's a new week, so that's probably a good call. For right now, though, uh, we got our slingshot as well. Let's let's quickly run up because we do have. You know, we'll do that later. We'll do that at a different time. We'll do that when we actually go to our, our volcano dungeon. But we'll get that uh, walnut from the slingshot as well. Can build the farm obelisk now? We could. We actually could. But I don't know if we want to do that immediately or if we want to invest in something like this Parrot Express. Like, I feel like this could be better, right? The Parrot Express to get that around the island faster? Because the obelisk, the farm obelisk, is it'll be nice when we need to go back and forth between the island and, uh, and Frugal Farm. But this will probably help us a lot get to get around the island. I don't know what else we have beyond this. Is it just this and the obelisk that we have left to build? Parrot Express would be fun. Express first is better. Yeah, I think it's going to be... I think it'll be a lot better for us, honestly. Did the tracker say 101 walnuts? I, I honestly didn't look. I probably should have. Yeah, I think, we, I think we go with this. Oh, and the bridge and the volcano. You're right about that. We're, we're going to go with the Parrot Express, though. Please tell me the parrot's gonna wear like a little train conductor's hat. Oh, come on. You, can't, you couldn't put a little drip, a little more panache on these parrots? Concerned ape, I'm disappointed in you. Could you imagine if they were like little pilot parrots and they're like, when you get in there, it's like, hey, put up your tray. We're, we're getting ready for takeoff. All right, well, we'll take what we can get, I guess. Let's put some uh, Omni Geodes on the burners. And then head to bed for the night. It did say 101 walnuts. Math is not Mr. Cheese's strong suit, apparently. It's raining again? What on earth is this? <laughs> Man, this is a very, very humid place to be, I suppose. None of these are new. I'm fairly positive of that. There we go. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and sell those. That's fine. What was the 101st? I don't think we got one, so I, I don't know what the, what the deal would be with that. Anyway. Looking at tarot tubers. No interest. Now let's go and so let's continue with our grinds, shall we? We're looking for snake spines. We're looking for more mussels. We're looking for um, more walnuts and such things. Ooh, baby! Sometimes you're just you're just that good. That's a snake vertebra right there. We we need one more though, right? That's correct. We need two of these things. But honestly, you know what? That's 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 kind of a load off my mind. I was worried that I was going to be uh, that's going to be turned into another cactus fruit situation, but certainly it can't be that bad. Give me, give me an emerald, by the way. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take. We'll absolutely take this kind of luck. It appears to be this serpent may have been extremely flexible, as opposed to all those highly rigid serpents that you're used to. Any of these new? Ooh, Aronite. We're just we're just making all kinds of progress today. Aronite is one that we actually need. Granite, kyanite. Not not things that we need. You can get out of here. Mudstone we definitely don't need. We get some Argon hype for all this stuff. We're, we're actually making some real, real deal progress. And all it took was a single trip back to the, the mainland. I'm alright with this. Because what else do we still need as far as artifacts and stuff go? So Aronite we just picked up. We need Helvite. 
Helvite can be gotten from Omni Geos, but also Magma Geos, I'm pretty sure. And then, uh... I don't think any of this is 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 Omni Geode. So we're we're literally looking for one more artifact or one more uh, mineral from Omni Geodes, and then we're cruising. It's like all your luck resides on Ginger Island. We found our haven, paradise at last. All right, we're gonna go to the dig site for right now, so we can turn in the snake spine. We do need to... Oh, I should be looking, checking the TV more often, too, for uh, panning luck. So that we know when we want to stop by the dig site more often. For right now, I'm not going to think too much about it. And let's throw some uh, snake spine in, in here. Awesome. We're still looking for this uh, rib cage as well, right? Before I got stuck in that cave, I was exploring the little gully nearby. Yeah, he's just telling us about the dig site, basically. Those are some strong parrots. I mean, they, they built a whole house in the span of, like, literally less than 30 seconds, so I'm not too surprised. Golden walnut time, baby. Alright. I will take, take me back to my farm. Hopefully the desert is lucky, too. We can only hope so. I feel like it's not gonna, I mean, I feel like the odds are gonna be much more stacked against this in the desert and Skull Cavern, especially when it comes down to it, but we'll hope for the best, absolutely. I'm gonna build another chest just for, because I realize that this one's get, starting to get a little on the full side, so we might as well. Just a little, nice little yellow chest, why not? I don't know how I'm going to delineate these chests, but for right now, this is this will work. Okay. Shall we? We need we need cinder shards. We need more cinder shards so we can combine our burglar ring and iridium band. I think that's the next path that I want to take here. Because then I can put on the slime charmer ring and we'll be in a great spot. Because we'll have access to all three of them. So we need what twenty cinder shards for a uh, for a ring combination? Is that correct? I should also get some more um, some more omni geodes going here, I suppose. That's just that's the slingshot chest exactly. It deserves its own chest. It was so special to us. Everyone knows that the slingshot is our favorite item in the game. plant these tarot tubers while I'm around here. There we go. I like to put a torch or a lamppost up at the where the passage is to make it easier to get through at night. That's honestly like a galaxy brain play. I should probably do that. Will I though? It remains to be seen. Let me check my luck. How are we doing? Ooh, it is a very good lucky day. Is it, is this, could this be our first dig site day? Hang out there and just wait for some panning opportunities? We haven't done it yet because we've been specifically waiting for like a lucky day. You know, let's move our, all our tools down to this chest for right now. All the ones that we're not using. I'll bring this back to the, the mines chest. And um, I'll bring this to the mines chest as well. Dungeon chest, whatever you want to call it. And let's take a shot. Let's take a shot at it. It's not going to be the most enthralling grind that I've ever seen, but it is, uh, it is important. Pan for the lucky ring, yeah. What am I drinking today? I just got a glass of water. Nothing too fancy. Keep myself hydrated. That is a good reminder, though, because I haven't actually taken a drink yet today. Alright. Grab our pan. And we'll just mine out this while we wait. Probably a good idea to stay on top of the dig site every so often anyway. Are you aware that you can wear the pan on your head? I am. That's actually how we got it to Ginger Island to begin with. Helps clear up an inventory spot that way. But I feel like just leaving it here, because this is really the only, re only area that we're going to use it in, is... Um, more well suited to our purposes. 
instead of carrying it around at all times. Ooh, panic spot. I see it. I thought I'd heard it, but then I couldn't see it. Alright, well, there's the lucky ring. Um, <laughs> sure, I mean, I guess that works. That's... <laughs> what? What is this? What's happening? It is... Alright. <laughs> I wasn't sure how long this grind was gonna be. Uh, we need two lucky rings, right? We need two lucky rings if we want uh, maximum efficiency here. So, we're still gonna be panning, but... That's a great start. That's a great start to to affairs here. I am not mad about that. Also, like a diamond and some gold. That was a, that was a great great panning loot. All things told. So let's like swap this out for right now, I guess. Um, fossilized tail we already have. I'm pretty sure. And we'll just let, we'll, man, getting that TV really paid off in the end, huh? Ginger Island is made of luck. Apparently so. Ginger Island confirmed a uh, stream watcher. The, par the parrots are influencing our luck around here because they just want us to have a good time after the long and arduous hours of the cactus fruit saga. And I'm here for it. I really am. Show me another one. I would never be so lucky. But All right. Iridium ore is honestly still pretty good. One of the rarer things you can get for sure. Ooh. There it is, there it is. Can I reach that? Don't think that's reachable. If, if you can, you're a better panner than I am. That's fine. Double lucky rings. Turns out karma is real and you suffered for a reason. I was never a huge believer in karma, but... This challenge is starting to make me reconsider my life choices, that's for sure. How, lu how rare are lucky rings? Honestly, I have no idea. This is the first one I've ever had in any Stardew playthrough, though. So I'm kind of hyped about that. Not that I've ever gone out of my way to go panning for one. However, um, the fact that... I, I did a lot of panning for the no-level-up challenge for a large portion of it, and I never found one. So this feels very fortuitous to me. Whether or not it actually is, whether or not that's just my luck shining through is, uh, who knows? Who really knows? I guess, uh, you'd have to look into the code for that one. Well, the lucky ring. The lunar emblem is said to bring good luck to whoever wears it. Why the lunar emblem, though? Hmm, Stardew Valley lore yet to be uncovered. Crossover with Elden Ring, Lunar Princess Rani. All right, that's fine. I'm not so bold as to assume that I'm going to get two lucky rings in the same day, let alone like back to back in, or in any capacity like that. But could you imagine? Could you imagine how uh, how exciting that would be? The panning saga part two. Except you guys weren't here for the first panning saga. That was all me. I was by myself panning for like 16 hours straight, trying to get an aquamarine. And then I gave up, because it was so mind-numbing. Why do you need two lucky rings? Because that's the best possible loadout for Skull Cavern for us. We want to maximize our luck when we go through Skull Cavern. And to do that, we want uh, double lucky rings. I'm pretty sure that's how that works anyway. If we only need one lucky ring, then like stop me now. But if we want to go maximum luck, 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 luck into getting treasure rooms in Skull Cavern, then I think this is our path forward. If you got two lucky rings in one day, the cheating allegations would be rolling in. I'm surprised people aren't already analyzing my uh, dragon tooth luck from the previous stream, being like, this bears some striking resemblance to the... Uh, to the Ender Pearl trades that Dream got in his cheated speedrun. And I'd be like, alright. <laughs> but I didn't, I swear. 
You can't combine two of the same rings, but we can combine one lucky ring with another ring. Like, one, like a lucky ring plus Iridium Band, and then a lucky ring plus something else. And that, then we'll be in good, uh, in a good spot, right? Don't mind me, I'm just running a few laps. Gotta, gotta stay in shape. Yeah, you can't combine them, but the effects can stack. I'm, I'm with you on that. Arc, I'm gonna pull out the Harvard astrophysicist. That's a deep cut right there. Honestly, a ruby? I'll take that. That, ooh. Double panning spots? Yeah, rubies are kind of nice for, uh, da for damage enchantments. Let's talk enchantments really quick, because I did mention it briefly that I want to look into enchanting our dagger. What would be the best enchantments for us? For, for reference, our combat skills, we got Scout to increase our critical chance and Acrobat to cut our special moves in half. So there's, um, I think the damage one could be very good for us. I do, I also think that a critical hit one could be helpful. I don't think we want knockback. I feel like that's, uh, not, not the best for our weapon. Could you fish between pans? I guess I could do that, but then that kind of, it extends the time superfluous with the, because I don't think we really need to fish. Unless we want more sashimi, I guess, which might not be a bad idea to invest in that. I will consider it for the future. We'll try it on our next panning day, maybe. I heard a spot. Am I blind? Am I dumb? Is it further up? Somehow? Oh, I see it. I see it. Don't you have the slammer at home? Uh, who needs a slammer at home when you got two lucky rings? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's all I'm Look, chat. Look, I know I said it last stream with the dragon teeth, right? But just, just let me have this. Just let me enjoy it. I've worked so long and so hard for this to be a reality. <laughs> I... I don't know what to tell you. You can, you, I can send you my save file. You could look all over it all you want. There's no cheating going into this. It's just pure dedication and frog hat laden energy. You actually go play the lottery right now. <laughs> Two lucky rings in one day. Some, someone go back, do the math on that. How many times do we have to pan to get two lucky rings? I honestly kind of want to know. That was, that, that was like less than 10 panning spots, I feel like. That was... What on earth? <laughs> what is this luck? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Well, there it goes. That's uh, that's our that's our panning. Oh, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Could you imagine if they got three lucky rings? All right. Lucky ring. Luck. Luck. Skill. Skill. I'm so happy. I'm just honestly just like relieved at some of this because this could have been. A much longer endeavor for sure and it, by all rights it should have been a much longer endeavor but I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth I've said it many a time let's get on out of here let's let's seal the deal on this save the day so we don't have to worry about the game crashing or some horrible thing head on home for right now Bunch of bunch of random ores and stuff. You know what? We'll we'll clean it out. Back to enchantment talk. Definitely go crits. So should, should, so yeah, I think it is. That's that's a good callback. Leap. Thank you. Uh, so the enchantments, crits definitely could be a good way to go. Do we? Because I know there's there's one enchantment, right? Let's let's look at our secret note. We have this power. Um, where was it? Here we go. So we got uh, Jade is critical strike power. So that's more damage from a crit. Aquamarine is critical strike chance. You can only get three enchantments on a thing, right? We should also look for Artful for uh, 
for our weapon, that's true, but we don't have a prismatic shard at our disposal. But we can use these, uh, we can, we can upgrade with them with, with these other gems too, right? So what would be a good what would be the best combination do you think? Is would it be like we double down on our critical strike chance or or like triple down on our triple critical strike chance, double down and then put one in critical strike power? We could do a ruby for extra da base damage and then just extra critical strike chance on top of that with some aquamarines. There's many different ways you could go with this. Prismatic shard will be reserved for galaxy horde or did it get used? We did we did actually use it. We uh we, we tried to enchant our Copper Axe, but we got efficient. All I got was this crummy commercial. For a Dagger, two Critical Strike Chance, one Critical Strike Power. Jade, Aquamarine, Ruby. Like, I feel like... What's, what's my gut telling me on this? Two critical strike chance, one critical strike power. That might be a good balance, honestly. If we do two aqua, two aqua marines and a jade. Panning in the same spot the same day gives the same result. It's seeded to the tile. You got two rings from the same spot. Is that accurate? Is that true? But I don't think I got, a, a, like, a diamond and stuff from the second time I did that either. Did I? I mean, whether it's true or not, we got it, and I'm not going to look too much into it beyond that. Stack crit chance to the max. If you get artful cooldown reduction, you can nonstop special and crit at, like, 30 to 40%. I do, I do put a little more stock in, in Leap's uh, opinions here, just because I know that he's well-versed in Stardew Valley. Whereas I'm sure many of you in chat are as well, but I don't have evidence to that. We'll see. What gems do we even have at our disposal right now? Because that's another thing. We have we have diamonds. It doesn't, isn't this like three random enchants or something? <laughs> Probably not the best way to go. Jade is one of the ones we were looking at. What is Jade again? It was... Critical Strike Power. So we'd want Aquamarines if we're going to go for for that. Or the Critical Strike Chance instead. We have a lot of Aquamarines at home. We maybe should have considered this when we were actually, when we took our trip back home, but it's not super critical either, so I'm not going to worry about it. You can predict panning based on day, location, and seed. That's crazy, honestly. Hey, at least we didn't have to do that. <laughs> at the very least. Let's get some more Omni Geodes on the, on the cooker here. I also brought my pan back with me, and I, I heard a panning spot just now. Could it be the fortune we didn't know we needed? No. Okay. I'll I'll tarot tubers I'll take, though. Let's, uh, I think this one might be too far away from the, from the river here. Yeah, we can get gems from the volcano. You have aquamarines in the dig site chest. That's honestly a good shout out. I'll take a look at that tomorrow. For right now, let's just deposit all our goodies and I'll deposit my ring right there. My lucky ring, because I actually will take off both lucky rings because we don't really need them exactly right now. That is a beautiful sight, though. Put on our burglar ring. We'll combine these and take care of all that sort of business tomorrow. We'll start looking for aquamarines. We will... Yeah. Alright, go to sleep for the night? I think so. Just taking a quick hydration break. Sorry about that. Lucky enough without the rings. Kind of accurate, honestly. It is another rainy day. So there is a chance that we could get the... Uh, that we could get an aquamarine from one of the gem birds on a rainy day, right? We got like a one in four shot at that. That's a prismatic shard? Excuse me? <laughs> 
I knew in my heart of hearts that you could get a Prismatic Shard from an Omni Geode, but like, it's like a 1 in 250 chance or something stupid like that. Granted, we've probably cracked more than 250 Omni Geodes, so I'll take it. <laughs> oh man. The luck keeps coming in and don't stop coming. Actually, <laughs> I'm actually hacking. Literal hacks. What on earth? Okay, okay. This is definitely a sign that we need to go back to the forge, for sure. For sure. So let's um, sort our inventory out here. Let's, uh, I'll sell this pizza, honestly. I don't feel like I'm going to need it. We'll pick all our crops. Wheat doesn't take very long to grow at all, so we'll be uh, able to reap that benefit pretty soon. What is this fever dream of a, of a stream? If, I mean, I, I'm not hunting down dragon teeth, so obviously my luck has to channel into other facets in order for the game to make its point loud and clear. Get your galaxy sword. I don't know if it's worth going for the galaxy sword when we have access to potential dragon weapons and things. I feel like the Galaxy Sword is kind of outclassed by, by Ginger Island, and the only reason that we didn't get one to begin with is that we're Ginger, we went to Ginger Island before Calico Desert. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm... Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. But that's how it feels right now. Anyway, none of these are new. We're only looking for Helvite. Helvite or Bust. Can we go back to the farm for a fashion show? Honestly, I'm more tempted by that than I should be. Okay, what do we bring into the volcano here? Um, we're, we'll bring the copper pan. Actually, put the copper pan back here. We don't. We're not worrying about panning for right now. Let's just head over to the volcano and take care of business, shall we? What is that green ball? The one that's growing in the ground? I believe that's a cactus. Also, Leo's birthday to worry about pretty soon here, so we'll make sure to be ready for that. If you do invest in a crit build, it would be worth getting the Infinity Dagger, but the Galaxy Dagger would be a downgrade from your Dwarven one. I don't think we can get an Infinity Dagger. Don't you have to buy that? So within our uh, within our rule set, it would be outside of our budget? Or, is, or do you get the Infinity Dagger some other way? Well, no, you you need to buy the uh, you need to buy the galaxy like the iridium, not iridium needle, but the galaxy dagger, and then upgrade it into the infinity dagger. So that's a non-starter, unfortunately. But good idea. It's good that we're at least exercising all of our possible options. How many cinder shards do we have? We have enough cinder shards for one enchantment here. Should we try our... I guess we should... Like, don't get me wrong, it'd be great to try and get an artful enchantment or something on our dagger. But also, this might not... This probably won't be our endgame weapon. If we can get a dragon dagger, then that would be uh, even better, I'm pretty sure. So what do, we, what do we want to invest these cinder shards in? We could do an enchantment of our copper axe. We could do an enchantment of our dagger. I'm not a huge fan of that. Or we could do a ring combination. Smush some rings, farm more shards. I think that's probably the right play here. I think we combine Burglar and Iridium Band, then we can wear our Slime Charmer Ring, and then we'll be able to farm even more Cinder Shards from there. So, let's do that. Yeah, Ring Combo definitely seems like the play right now, and it seems like pretty much everyone's on board with that. So, let's dance, shall we? Burglar Ring. Iridium Band. Seems like a fantastic combination to me, even if the ring kind of looks like trash. <laughs> the top part is is glowing, though. It's That's kind of neat. Combined ring monsters have... I mean, it doesn't have a special name or anything. I feel ripped off. You just do what you feel is best. I don't know if I always have the best judgment on that, but thank you, Elaine, for, uh, for having confidence in me. Hey there, Fiona. Welcome. Hope you had a good class. What about the luck rings? We'll combine the luck rings at a later date. I think right now, if we're doing volcano dungeon stuff, this is a better loadout for us. 
And since we're going to go do Volcano Dungeon stuff, let's get our Roots Platters, let's get our food. Let's try and make a push for another Floor 9 today, see if we can get a good chest out of that. Maybe a, maybe a Dragon Weapon or something, if we're... If our luck can persist that far, but I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't test my luck too much here, based on the results of the past couple days. I think we're in a good spot already. Look for some Aquamarines, too, is, is definitely a good idea. Uh, let's... Where is the Aquamarine Gember? What side of the island is that on? I'm not going to go look for that right now, but just for future reference. So that we know, um... We can go look for it and just, just try. I think Aquamarine is probably the way to go for our enchantments. It's the jungle? Outside, outside Leo's place, then? Alright, so now we can just, like hang out with these guys if we want to. We actually don't need to fight the Tiger Slimes whatsoever, which is so, so nice. It's going to make this whole place a whole lot more manageable in my in my mind. You know we got to try and go for a few more Dragon's Teeth, though. The right side, the east side? Okay. Seems like everyone's on the same page there, that the Aquamarine would be Island East. So you definitely want to focus down these guys because they drop Cinder Shards. And then just Cinder Shard nodes and so on and so forth. I, you know, honestly, eat the Roots Platter real quick. I should probably take care of that. I, I haven't seen any gem nodes in the volcano. I don't know if they can spawn or if I'm just like overlooking them or, or what. And as far as I know now, there's really no great reason to go out of where to kill Tiger Slimes. I don't think there's any fantastic loot we can get from them right now. But shout out if you do think that there's a good reason to still be killing them. All I know is that Slime Charm Ring was just about the, one of the best ideas we ever had to go back and get that. It is going to be so nice. No gem nodes in the volcano. That tracks. Gems d drop from crates sometimes. I do have that experience. There's also in the crates um, are those like dwarven sentry things that have a chance to drop gems. So we'll be on the lookout for crates, definitely. Oh, there's a dragon tooth, by the way. No big deal. Get another one from this guy. Just kidding. Oh, there's. I, we don't need another one from that guy. There's just two right here. That's fine. Two dragon teeth for the price of one. This is literally a dead dragon. This is kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Man, what a different place Stardew Valley once was. That'd be so cool if you could fight like an actual dragon in this game. Maybe Haunted Chocolatier is gonna be is gonna be more in line with that. I know there's gonna be a, a bigger focus on combat in Haunted Chocolatier from everything that I've heard so far. Hit me with it. Could have been three dragon teeth on one floor, but they didn't want us to get too greedy with it. I can respect that. Tiger Slimes drop, drop a unique hat, a 0.1% drop rate. You may have just convinced me. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily go out of my way to kill as many as I possibly can, but that is, uh, <laughs> that is certainly a good incentive if I've ever heard one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Solar Essence. We'll take the, the Coal instead. Now, we act, now we're actually using our Coal for Omni Geodes and things, so... Good investment, I would say. What percentage of perfection are we at? It was 61%. Which is uh, pretty much par for the course based on what we were expecting. I honestly, yeah, I did, I did think it would be higher. I thought it would be like seventy percent plus at the very least, but I think it's uh, like I said, it's kind of deceptive. The perfection rating is not necessarily absolute because some things can go up much faster than others. Like for instance, once we actually buy the all the obelisks and everything, that's gonna complete that section immediately, and that's gonna give us a. Uh, a nice chunk of percentage, I would imagine. I don't know for sure, but... Be better than not having it anyway. B 
beautiful. Maybe a perfection a perfection command. So that, oh yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea actually. Give Nightbot a little perfection command so we can keep up on that. Look at how much better our health is doing now that we have this uh, the slime charmer ring though. Honestly, like these these tiger slimes were by far the the worst part of this as far as uh, damage goes. This place is not nearly as scary anymore. I am more than all right with. Almost makes like uh, just regular stream banter kind of feasible when I'm going through this place, but I still don't want to test my luck too much. There we go. Those crits do hit for a solid chunk, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's That'll be a good investment to get more crit chance for sure. Ooh, a couple rubies. We don't actually really care about those, but... Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Show me some aquamarines and we can start talking. Maybe some jades, I could be persuaded, but the rubies are pretty good. Just a, just a raw damage upgrade. So that's what we've got Bruce, Bruce Platters for right now. Chloe, I think I've been hanging around with you too much, says Haley. That's that's kind of hurtful a little bit because we've been gone for so long. But it's good that she's keeping keeping good memories of us. Inventory full. What is this? That's gold ore. Don't need to worry about that. I'd honestly rather keep the stone at this point. Let's keep going. I'm going to try and power through a couple of these floors in the interest of making it to uh, floor 9. Not going to stop for every single Magma Sprite. We already have 40 Cinder Shards. That's a pretty good haul so far. And I want to make sure I have enough time to make it through here before the end of the day. That hurts. That definitely... That smarts. Okay, let's be careful. Let's not get too overwhelmed here. Just show me the exit, please. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take that. Take that and run with it. It's not gated off. That was the one thing I was really worried about. We'll be alright. Haley means it sarcastically. You know what? You could probably be read that better than I can. Sarcasm is very difficult to, to read on the internet, but sometimes it's just a matter of context, I suppose. That's why slash S is so ubiquitous now. I see, I see that all over the place. Where did that even, like, first begin, this whole slash S thing? Uh, you know what? I can see my roots platter is about to run out, so we might as well use that for our energy instead. It seems like a Reddit thing, the slash, slash S to denote sarcasm. That sounds like it would have, where it would have originated from, because Reddit is very much a textual experience. Not that there aren't a lot of, like, text-based uh, platforms on the internet, obviously, but Reddit, it, Reddit just has that kind of vibe to it. Maybe it's older than that, I don't know. It's, that's I feel like it's it's maybe anecdotal evidence that I just started seeing that when I first started noticing Reddit. Reddit slash 4chan almost definitely is. Yeah, fair enough. Chat, okay, I might be wa wandering into dangerous territory here. Let's keep it PG-13. Like, what the heck is up with 4chan? I know very little about 4chan, honestly, I, except for, like, uh, like horror stories and stuff of various things. But, like, what's the, what's the actual, like, purpose of the website? Is it, like, like proto-Reddit, basically? Just like, a, just, like, a primordial version of that site? Or is there more to it than that? Like, what do people go there for beyond, you know, some the obvious, I guess? Is is there, you know what? Maybe it's better not to ask chat if there's a like like what what four chan's all about. Maybe it's better to ask, hey, is there a video essay I can watch on the topic or listen to on the topic? Because that's probably more my speed, and probably more your speed as well, to be honest. Instead of trying to break down the history of a decade-plus-old website in 200 characters or less. T 
TLDR, anonymous people can be jerks. Yeah, the anonymity is definitely what makes it, uh... What makes it more... How do I put it politely? <laughs> what makes it easier to be a bit of a jerk, for sure. And you see that all over the place, not just in uh, 4chan and, and Reddit, obviously, but anywhere on the internet is anonymity is kind of rife with that. It's a slap in the face right there. I go all the way to level 9 for a dang golden coconut that I can't even use. You disgust me. I'd rather give me the tarot tubers, please. I can I can if we if we had the tiger slime hat in there, I couldn't even tell you. It's so clustered. <laughs> oh jeez. All right, we're on our way out. Man, it's so much more painless with that slime charmer ring. I, I I'm so so happy that I invested in that. There he is on level 9 again. Back at it again at the Krusty Krab. Was that a necklace? Was there a neck a, a necklace drop? What is this? Are we outside of the spa? Alright, let's go ahead and deposit all this. Uh, let's go have a quick peruse for the aquamarine bird, just in case that is something we might be interested in. I think we leave the rest of this for right now. We don't need to... Well, we'll bring back this. Got some rubies in there. That's not bad. Let's just head on over to the, uh, to the jungle. Oh, it's the Curiosity Bobber. Yeah. It, it, it is va vaguely necklace-ish. I can see where you're coming from with that. Ooh, hey, one in four chance. Sometimes you just got to test your luck with that, right? That, that's a minor instance of Argon luck right there. That's 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 got to be an emote, right? Argon luck. We got to, at this point in our lives, I got to look into making one of those. I need to look into making more emotes in general. I've gotten some good ideas, uh, especially from the Discord and stuff. If you are a YouTube member and you have any ideas for emotes that you might be interested in, Feel free to share them in the members lounge on the Discord. That's the most likely place that I'm going to be able to see them and remember them and reference back to them. There we go. I want the save file I call hacks. <laughs> I'll send I'll send you the save file after the fact, but <laughs> no, I can't send the save file because I don't want I don't want to give away the seed or anything. Ask and you shall receive. Sometimes that's all it is. You just gotta be nice enough and say. Please, can you give me an aquamarine? Like, please, can we get another rainy day tomorrow and get another gem bird? If, that's, if that happens, you'll know without a doubt that we're hacking, but... Alright, uh, go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. I don't even know if you can get the same gem bird two days in a row. But if anyone could pull it out, it would be Chloe, right? That's not even raining. Alright, so... <laughs> Mission fail, we'll get him next time. That said, is our wheat ready yet? I think we got one more day on that wheat, and then we'll be in good shape. What about our tarot roots? We got a few tarot roots here. There may yet be some, uh... Ooh! Wait, snake skull. Do we have the snake skull yet? I don't remember. I don't remember if we were looking for just the snake vertebra, or if the snake skull was also on our list of things to acquire. I feel like we might have already gotten that. And I might be getting excited for no reason, but it is still cool to see. We do already? Yeah, alright. Fair enough, fair enough. Snake spine is the rare one. Who's gonna tell him? We are still missing one snake spine, but... It'll come in time, I'm sure. What do you think the odds are that we get the snake spine before our banana tree is fully grown? Because once our banana tree is fully grown, that's uh, going to be pretty close to the end for Ginger Island, at least for our long stay on Ginger Island. I don't know how likely the snake spine is in a numbers context, but I hear all sorts of horror stories about spending years upon years waiting for it to come by. And I don't know if I want that for us. I definitely don't want that for us, honestly, but 
we're gonna have to spend years upon years to get eggs from the Feast of the Winter Star to begin with, so you know what, we're in it for the long haul either way. For me, it's 100%. Snake spine is rarer on the farm than the skull. The skull is 13% and the, and the spine is 22%. Or more common, I see what... Uh, okay, so you missed, just misspoke there. I got you, I got you. Alright, at any rate, we do have an aquamarine. I think that's honestly good enough cause, because we, we want at least one aquamarine on our dagger. And we have the cinder shards for it now. We do also have the prismatic shard, and you know what? This is the only thing that we need enchanted 100%. We need the right enchantment on it. So I think we try for that again as well. With our Prismatic Shard. I think that's a good... Obviously, Prismatic Shards, I can't just be spending them left, right, and center. We will get to that point, probably. We'll have a decent supply of Prismatic Shards once we use... Um, once we're in Skull Cavern. But I'm impatient. What can I say? I want this victory. I feel the luck flowing through me. Maybe I should put on my lucky rings, but I know in my heart of hearts that that actually doesn't make a difference. Let's do this. Let's just double check to be absolutely confident in this fact that we already have the snake skull. I forgot the shard. Oh ho ho. I had you bamboos. We have Jade, too. I don't know yet if I want to invest in Jade or if we just want to go full Aquamarine, Aquamarine build. I know I at least want one Aquamarine, though, so I'm willing to invest early in that. Let's do it. All right. Dwarf Dagger, let's get the, let's get the simple one out of the way here first. So this will make our plus four crit chance. I don't mind that. There we go. And Copper Axe. Question mark enchantment. I'm excited. I'm excited. What can we do? Come on. Ooh, nice. All right. It only took two Prismatic Shards. And we're here. We're here. I don't think the odds in that are like super, super low. And obviously it is predictable. The enchantments are predictable. But we don't need your stinking predictors around here. Spend seven years searching for a cactus fruit and then tell me how your predictors do then. Honestly, probably pretty good in that context. That's a bad example, but you know what? We take those. We take those. The copper axe is powerful. Honestly, I'm so excited about that, that this is finally a reality in our lives that I need to go flaunt it. I need to go flaunt it and show you exactly what this is all about. Ye freaking ha, indeed. <laughs> yeah, they do fantastically at predicting the trash. It's it's not not the best, not the best analogy for sure. You, you stupid log, have been the bane and burden of my existence in this challenge for since like day one practically. You stymied everything on our coffee farm. You prevented access to the secret woods. You're making yourself present even on Ginger Island when it makes like literally no sense that you should even be here. Get out of my face! Give it a second. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Take that, you fools! These stupid logs. Look at them. They're they're just pretend that like this big opening here is like a mouth, and they're like, oh. He's got a powerful axe. What can I do? What can I do? You can't do anything. You're done. You're done. You're gone forever. 30 hardwood to my name. Suck on that. That, oh man, that felt good. That felt good. That felt so good. Oh my god. Truly an axe murderer now. Pray slaughter. That's, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful time to be me. Secret Woods unlocked officially. We just have to make it back there. All right, I am going to go ahead while I'm thinking about it. Let's get a Terror Root for Leo and just go give it to him. It's not his birthday. I know his birthday is tomorrow. And we'll probably use... We'll, we'll either give him one of our Ostrich Eggs or the Pearl. 
depending on how I feel the day of. But we gotta start building up our friendship outside of just birthdays. We can't solely rely on that. Here you go, buddy. Have I met the? Uh, have you met the others like you? I don't talk to them much. I feel safer with my own kind. I didn't even see who was at the resort, honestly. Maybe we should check in with them. See if Gus is hanging around. Your days are numbered now, wood skip. The fact that the wood skip is going to be one of the last fish for us is kind of hilarious, honestly. You got Penny, you got Emily, and you got Sebastian. Hey, em Emily, can you <laughs> maybe bring your sister next time? Not that, I don't, not that I'm not happy to see, see Emily as well, but, you know. You know. Oh, Sam's here, too. How are you ladies doing? You open your heart to the sun, you can feel a loving energy inside of you. I think that might be cancer, Emily. You should be careful about that. The sand is soft and fine. It feels great on my toes. The beach is nice, but I don't love the crowds. There's literally four people. There's four people, Sebastian. You know what? I can kind of feel that, though. I bet there's some cool stuff deeper on the island. You don't even want to know. Willie said we have to stay here, though. Some kind of liability issues or something? Yeah, I have to, I've been here for 25 days. Think Willie would let me lug a jet ski out here? Nah. You can, might as well at least ask, honestly. The wind keeps keeps making me lose my page, but it feels really great on the skin. There is nothing quite like a like a cool breeze on a hot day. It's honestly a, it's a fantastic feeling. They're not wrong about that at all. Or she's not wrong about that. Alright, let's head back to the uh, volcano, I guess. Four people is a lot for Pelican Town. You make an excellent point. Yeah, I guess we keep going for more Cinder Shards in the Volcano and and hope for the best as far as like Prismatic Shards from Omni Geos and stuff go. I'm alright with that. I am alright with this. We'll go... We'll, we'll make sure we want to take the right Dwarf Dagger because we are spoiled for choice here. Take all this stuff. I don't know... I don't know if I can push for level 9. That might be a little much. Maybe if we speed run the first couple floors here, then we'll be able to do that. Give it a try. The penny stands are here. The penny stands, they, they lurk in the shadows, but once she's around and you start to appreciate her, they make themselves fully known. And you know what? I am kind of one of them to a certain extent. Obviously, uh, Haley's got our heart in this context, but Penny was my first love, technically, on, on my first Stardew playthrough. I know we're trying to speed through, through speed through the volcano here, but I got I gotta try my luck. Oh my god, <laughs> gotta try my luck at these uh, dragon teeth. Was that the crit chance just like coming in like super clutch there? Was that the effect of one singular aquamarine? Oh my god. <laughs> We've, we've created a monster, and I don't know if we can take it back. Look at these this, these crits. These crits on crits. I'll take that, absolutely. <laughs> it was so much damage. I was just I was just astounded. Obviously, like it's not going to work like that every single time, but that was, uh, that was beautiful. Good, done with the mag... You know what? We'll... Get rid of the slime, get rid of the stone, and take a magma cap for the road. Ooh, gold quality, too. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, the crit chance, is, it feels like the way to go right now is just stack pure crits on crits on crits. I can see where Leap was coming at with that. Or where Leap was coming from. I always, like, misspeak in the, in the weirdest ways. Especially when it gets towards the end of a stream. Maybe that's just, you know, that's just streamer brain for you. Did I miss anything? I would say good morning since I just woke up. But it's almost 4 p.m. for me. Uh, welcome, Marsley. You've, you've missed a decent amount of stuff. I mean, it's hard to quantify the progress. It's not, it's not like the uh, cactus fruit hunting streams. Where progress is so few and far between, there's there's a decent amount. Like we got some lucky rings under our belt, we got some enchantments, we went back to 
Pelican Town. We got the the Walnut Room unlocked. It's yeah, we're we're kind of cruising at this point. It's hard to hard to keep it all in my brain at the same time, but that's what the vods are here for. If you are interested. I can't believe daggers have been in the game all this time, and I'm just now discovering them. I had fallen to the peer pressures of uh, of saying that hammers are the best, or that swords are like pretty good too, but everyone's always on the hammer train. Like, stop, hammer time. Stop with that dagger, it's hammer time now. And I'm and now, now that I'm actually trying it out for myself, I'm like, nah, man. Daggers, they're where it's at. Charlie was right all along. All we had to do was uh, well, was trust in her. Although apparently, I was told that that Charlie Barley had better luck with daggers because they were improved and started to expand it, and that's why she was uh, having a good time with them. But the dwarven dagger is is proving its worth in so many different ways here. I mean that that's a dagger moment right there for sure. Not being able to reach the lava lurk when it's literally right in your face, but it's fine. All right, let's keep on pushing because we are. It is getting a little later in the day. This is a weird floor layout, honestly. It's, like, it's just a whole big circle. Look at that. Can't use hammers or daggers. You're a swords girl. I can respect that. That's that's honestly. I mean, I was I was definitely in the sword camp for a very long time myself. No lie there, and not just because of like. I was had my I had very limited options due to this challenge. Even in my own casual playthroughs, I I would always just default to the sword. It seemed to be the easiest to use. What do we got? Ooh, speaking of swords, I mean we can at least give it a, a, a try. Dwarf sword. Now we have all three dwarven weapons. That's pretty good. I think what we do here is actually I want to keep uh I'll toss this for right now and just eat the roots platter. And then send it. We don't have any enchantments or anything on this uh, on this sword. I'm willing to give it the old college try. It's definitely faster than the hammer, that's for sure. And you we could we could upgrade the hammer, we could enchant it to be faster. That doesn't escape my notice, and I'm willing to give it another shot. But for right now, dagger and sword. Do a little dual wielding action. We're in we're in good good shape. Drop the tuber. You can see make her more tarot. Yeah, but I'm stubborn and I don't want to. All right, you're right though. You make an excellent point. For the sword for the swing, the hammer is too slow for your liking. I'm with you. How does, how does the sword work on these things? Yeah, no, I, I honestly feel like the dagger for the special move alone, against against these things at least, is uh, is top tier here. All right, but let's let's clear our way to because yeah, I don't want it. This does not look like a floor I really want to deal with personally. With these uh, magma sparklers, I believe they're called. Let's just get on out of here. Show me a mushroom floor, I'd be very happy with that. Because it's often very short. I gotta hurry here, because it is getting late in the day. We gotta make sure that we're not uh, dilly-dallying around too much. We at least have the Parrot Express unlocked, so it's not going to be too much of a hassle to get back to our farm once we are done with the dungeon. We gotta get to that point first before we even worry about that. Focus on the goals in front of you before you <laughs> worry about uh, whether you're going to pass out or not. Different sort of layout for this floor. I'm kind of digging it. I respect it. Show me a little aquamarine energy. Tease me my chest. Oh, my chest is over there. I got to go like cross the lava to get there. Give me one second. It's, it's 9 p.m. We can still make this work. I see more crates and stuff as well. 
This is a little spooky. In fact, I'm it's very spooky right now. Let's let's just call it what it is. Do it like this. Give me whatever the heck we got here. That's a that's a ring. That's a ring that I'm pretty sure I don't want. We've already got one. So we just send that. Still worth going back for in my mind, but a little upset about it. Cannot lie. Duck and weave and bob and weave. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. And we made it. Don't panic. I'm not nearly as prone to panicking now that I'm not being hurt by slime charmers. Or not slime charmers, but tiger slimes. It is so, so nice. Such a nice boon. We are starting to run low on sashimi, but the magma caps are thriving. So I'm not going to... I'm not too too concerned about it for the time being. Swap everything around here. And make our way back. Okay. Panning spot. Third lucky ring incoming? No, I'm not even going to go for it. Not even worth the the gold that it's wrapped in. Not for us anymore, anyway. Man, we only had, we only had to use this TV one time for for our lucky rings. How how hilarious is that? Let's go to sleep for the night. Call it there. All right. Ooh, another rainy day. Another aquamarine incoming. Before we take a look at that, though, I am actually going to go ahead and I'm taking a quick break here. I don't do this all that often, but I'm going to go for a uh, quick bathroom break and then to maybe grab something to eat. I am a little hungry. We still got an hour to go in the stream here. A little more than an hour. I will send you off to the saloon for the time being. Behave. And uh, get your orders in while you can. As we haven't been to the saloon in a hot minute. Some of you might not even know what the heck I'm talking about, but uh, enjoy while I'm gone. I'll be right back.
I am back. I am fully refueled. I got a new glass of water to my name. I'm usually more well prepared to like last the full four hours of the stream. But I didn't have as much time this morning as I would have thought because I kind of slept in a bit. And then didn't have a big breakfast and it's a whole thing, but it's whatever. I'm actually 21, so I'll be fine anywhere. Imagine living in a place where the legal drinking age is 21 as opposed to 18 where I'm at. Honestly, probably more sensible, but uh, <laughs> not that it really matters to me. I'm ancient compared to all of you, so... Well, maybe not all of you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back into the game, shall we? Voila. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully I unmuted properly. Yeah, I did. Okay. Someone give Argon a beer? No, thank you. I'll take the Diet Coke. Beer is definitely not my speed. All right. Um, where was I? Aquamarine bird. I think today is also the day that our wheat is fully grown, if my math is correct. It's also Leo's birthday. It's a big day all around. Oh, boy. That looks good to me. All right. So let's go talk to our favorite Bombo frog. We will grab... I think I'm going to go with the pearl for Leo's birthday. I honestly think that the ostrich eggs are more valuable to us than this pearl. Part of me does lament the fact that I can't give this pearl to Haley. But, you know what? She'll be happier with the coconuts at the end of the day. It's more personalized. You're 37? Old lady, as far as it goes on the internet? Hey, we all get there eventually. Ideally, anyway. Stay 29 forever. I always feel like... I'm constantly conflicted as to whether I feel like I'm older or younger than I am. A lot of my tendencies, I think, are more mature for people than other people my age, but... I don't know. This is maybe not the not the place to get into that discussion. I've been 29 for a few years. You sound like you sound like my mom. <laughs> she just turned 50 for the 10th time. So, not that I should be telling you her age, but you, you didn't hear it from me. Keep it a secret. All right. Let's go ahead and so we got the pearl, we got the frog, we're going to the aqua, aqua marine town. Yeah. I think I'm happy with this. When did the, uh, I should actually, let's, let's also check for snake spines and everything, do our usual sort of affairs. But when did the uh, chi quests in the, in the walnut room refresh? Is that like Sunday, like the start of every week? Similar to the, uh, similar to the board in town or is the board Monday? I, I honestly don't remember. Argon's mom just celebrated her 22nd, 29th birthday. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> we'll take it, absolutely. She she would be flattered to hear that. I'm so I'm very sure. We're getting close to our uh, 75 muscles that we need as well. Hold on, I'm going to move my microphone a second. I don't know if that's going to be any better, but it felt like it was in a weird spot. Monday, like the bulletin board? Okay. Monday for the for the Chi Quest. Got it. We will keep an eye out for that. Not that there's too many I think I can even complete on Ginger Island. But I know what I can complete on Ginger Island. Hello, old friend. The, law, the land once teamed with fresh, fresh fooda. Me see, me wish to see in the teamin once more. Me want to see the longo yellow tickling thing. That thing... That be waving in the wind. Oh my gosh, this is literally this is like straight out of Mavis Beacon teaches typing. They're throwing you all these curveballs. You be growing the thing outside now, bub? Absolutely, sir. Show it to him. It looks like he needs some moisture on his skin as well. He's a little wrinkly, so it's good to get out in this rain. Good bombo long when to run through it. Bombo tickling. Don't run through my wheat, sir. <laughs> I, it's very precious to me. Reminded me of old girlfriend, Gurp. The lore! What on earth? Who is Bombo's girlfriend? Bombo Frog? Now me wanna the tickle, tickle the you? Let's keep a PG-13 in here, mister. I'm not into that, but if you are, I'm not gonna begrudge you. Can we get some blushing emojis in chat? Just just blushing emojis? Cribbit, yes, thank a da you. This bringing me back to the good times long, long ago, bub. Here, dissa for you. Lovely. 
Five more golden walnuts. What what's what's the last thing? I mean, I know he wants garlic, but I want to hear how he says it. We want to eat the zesty ground fruit, but make the breath stink. You be growing it outside? Nah, not for a while yet. That's going to be a tough one to come by. All right. Well, that takes care of that. We can, I guess we can just harvest that wheat. Oh, we can't harvest the wheat. We don't have a dang scythe. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. We only have like a sword here. All right, I guess the wheat's sticking around for a little while. Let's head over to the jungle. I'm late. No worries, Arus. Welcome to the stream. We still got like just about an hour to go here, so. All right, no aquamarine for us. That's all right. Leo, bit of a rainy day for your birthday. You're probably used to that. Seems to be a very... Ooh, pardon me, Rainy Island. There you go. That's very kind of you. I love it. He's so well-spoken all of a sudden. What in the world? One time I was at the top of the volcano at night, and I saw lights far, far away. How does he even get to the top of the volcano, this little lad? Maybe he's more ferocious than I give him credit for. Either way, that's, uh, that's three hearts with Leo right there. What does the parrot got to say while I'm here? I might as well check. Hidden in the pages of the journal. So we, we need to find more journal scraps still, and they, those will unveil more secret walnut locations to us. Okay. Those I was actually not uh, aware of. He's a parrot. He flies. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fool. You're so right. He is, he's, he's a parrot. Yeah, he's always... He, that's what he's told me from day one. He's one with the birds. Why would I think otherwise? The birds carry him. He doesn't even need to be carried. He, he's just a bird. Just a bird. Just a guy. All right. Let's go ahead and get more of these Omni Geodes. Quick Prismatic Shard coming in quick. Or Hellvite. I'll take either one, honestly. And let's go ahead and head to the mines, I guess. I really, really would like a dragon weapon, like the dragon dagger, the dragon tooth shiv, or whatever it's called, would be pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I'm under no delusions that it's going to be an easy thing to come by. I have looked into the volcano, like, chest loot enough to know that it's only from the rarer chests, and it's, like, a rare thing in those rare chests. But we've made some magic happen already this stream. Why not? Why not now? Why not us? So let's uh let's let's do what we can here. If I get a prismatic shard, you're, call you're calling hacks. I mean, I honestly would too. The fact that I got one prismatic shard from the Omni Geodes is bad enough. If I was able to like call it on demand, then uh, I'd probably have some high court of of hacking and cheating to answer to at that point. I would not. I would not even protest that. I'd be like, I don't even know if I'm guilty anymore. Did I accidentally leave some kind of mod on that I didn't even install in the first place? Because I don't have, like, hardly any mods. I don't have hardly any mods. Anyway. Onward and upward. Let's go. Welcome back, Sophia. We're currently volcano dungeoning. Or mostly for like cinder shards and things for enchantments. Oh, there is a gem node there. I guess they're just not very common around here, but and and, and I don't know if there's like specific gem nodes. Probably not. Probably just more of those neutral gem nodes. That magma lurk is a little far out of the way for me. The fact that we don't need any more dragon teeth to begin with is. Incentive enough for me to not go that way, but I'll just I'll take these two down here. I guess, you know, that's what I get for uh, for finally turning away from a magma lurk for once in my life is I just get rewarded. <laughs> the game is just being too nice to me. Not that I need the dragon teeth for anything anymore. We could we could grow more banana saplings. We could trade for more. <laughs> We're living the kingpin lifestyle now. All right, I should be focusing more on the the magma sprites than the. And the lava lurk, obviously. There's enough of them around here that I can get a decent amount of cinder shards out of it. I think it's probably worth investing some time. Get back here, please. Thank you. 
21, 21 Dragon Teeth, no big deal. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be close on the heels of that Stardew 999 challenge guy before long. Does he have 999 Dragon's Teeth yet? Probably, I would guess. But he's like he's been playing that farm for so long that I have to imagine he's already done that because it's got to be strangely one of the easier things in his grind. Maybe not super easy, but easier than 999 T sets or whatever. And if he's not there, he's probably got to be getting pretty close. Although I don't know how uh, how much he's been grinding out the volcano dungeon either. So he's he's got a lot to do. If you're not familiar, there's a guy. He streams over on Twitch now. I don't think he always did, but I, I first became aware of him via Wallagog's channel. He's trying to go for 999 of every stackable item in Stardew Valley, and it's just as arduous as it sounds. <laughs> After looking into it for just like a few seconds and seeing some of his experience with it. It's definitely not a challenge for the faint of heart. Roots platter? We, we don't we don't worry about that. <laughs> I thought I'd eaten one already. My my damage with these crits with these additional crits was just that good apparently. I didn't even have to question it. All right, keep on going here. I don't know necessarily what a good pace is for the Volcano Dungeon to get through in good time to still make it back to the farm. That's something I need to, to internalize a bit more, probably, as I do more of this place. Although, I don't know how much more of the Volcano dun Dungeon I realistically even need to do. At this point in my life, we've gotten so much stuff out of here already. But I think it's got to be at this point, after so many dragon teeth like this... It's got to be dragon weapons or bust. It seems like these are leading up to something very, very impactful. These dragon teeth, they're guiding me along like a Hansel and Gretel style breadcrumb trail. I need to see what's at the end of it. I need to, I need to continue through this volcano. Even if it turns out to be the death of me. But not actually, like let's not really die. It's just a figure of speech, okay? Don't read too much into it. Excuse me. Give me an aquamarine while you're in my face like that. All right. Get rid of this guy before anything else, honestly. That should probably be my, uh, like, the strat here is get rid of these magma sparklers before anything else because they can... Like, their debuff can so catastrophically affect you, disproportionate to every other enemy in the in the entire dungeon. But they should always be top priority, unless you're trying to just, like, run through, in which case... Hold back. Don't hold back. I just had the weirdest flashback, and I don't know why. Does anyone remember... Uh, I think it was called... It was, like, a Disney Channel original movie called Minutemen? It was like some guys in high school that had access to some kind of time machine. I don't. I've, I've only vaguely remember these details, and all I remember is seeing them walk around in these like bright white snow suits for some reason. Because I guess maybe it was really cold when they went through their wormhole to go back in time. I just I just thought about that movie for the first time in so long, and I don't know what brought on that memory, but here we are. All right. So yeah, these this burn is really. Really not good. I here I am talking about Minutemen and I'm on the verge of death. Let's be careful here. Let's be like extra careful, please. Yeah, I just want my button. Minutemen, Preston Garvey is calling. <laughs> like I don't know if it was called Minutemen or if it was something else, but it was because Minutemen might actually be... Might, I, I'm pretty sure Minutemen is something else. But I don't know. For some reason, that's what... Uh, that's what my mind is telling me. It's easy enough to search up, I suppose. It would just search, like, a uh, Disney Channel original movie Minutemen. This is a bad floor for us, by the way. This is, this is not, uh, not my best performance by a long shot. Which goes to show that I should really be more careful about these enemies, I suppose. Let's get out of here. 
And let's just speed run through this next floor. I feel like we kind of have to based on where we're at for, um, for time here. Hammer will probably have helped a bit here. Look. Look, we don't besmirch the dagger that easily. It might not be the best in every situation, but we can't be going around carrying hammers and daggers and swords, oh my, all over the place. These 12 inventory slots are very um, precious to us. I hate this, by the way. I, got, I mean, it's, it's honestly not that bad compared to the, some of the layouts that we've gotten, but my god, it's just the idea of it, of like an arena st style thing like that, is a little overwhelming for sure. Okay. Or use a better weapon. Hey, I mean, if you if you want to besmirch the dwarven dwarven dagger like that, you can just you can just say it outright. You can just say the dwarven dagger is bad, and you think it's bad, and you think that anyone who uses it is bad and should not have and should have their Stardew Valley card revoked. At the end of the day, I'm the one who's made it this far, and uh, that's all I need to know. Step to me with your with your galaxy sword, your infinity sword, whatever your your infinity gavel. I'll bring my uh, my three aquamarine infused dwarven dagger, and we'll see who comes out on top. I'll sneak behind you and uh, and stab you in the appendix. See who's laughing then. Never seen this level before. It is a new layout for certain. More cinder shards? <laughs> Three cinder shards from a chest. Honestly, I feel like a chest should probably yield more than that, but I'm not designing the game. There we go. We made it. With plenty of time to spare, honestly, so I can definitely take more time in the future if I need to. Sneak behind them and get instant hammer spammed. Good luck sneaking behind anybody when you're holding a giant clown mallet over your head. There's this big old purple thing that you're going to whack somebody with. How are you going to sneak around with that? You can't take a step without you like registering on the Richter scale. The dagger, at least you have some kind of finesse with it. Bring that up next time we schedule a battle royale, Argon. <laughs> I'll put my money where my mouth is. I'm not afraid. I'm certainly not afraid. I won't even upgrade to the best dagger. I'll use the dwarf dagger, even though it's like, by all metrics, worse than uh, some other daggers. Alright, what are we doing here? We're grabbing our tools and everything. Get that sorted out. I think we're in a good spot here. I, I, would, I should probably invest in more sashimi pretty soon. Do a little bit of extra fishing. Although, once we get uh, the, uh, once we use all the 75 mussels that we need to trade at the Island Trader, then we can use any mussels from there on to make sashimi, so maybe that's the play, honestly. If you're using an Iridium Needle with the Desperado skill, the other person will probably be dead. Yeah, I don't have the Desperado skill. We went for the uh, Acrobat one to... Reduce the... Oh, Aaron, I was going to say Aaronite is... It is technically new, but we already have one, so now we just have two Aaronites hang, hanging out here. Don't mind if I do. Mind if I put a little Aaronite in your Aaronite? Damn, we're not able to respec because that costs money, so we're stuck with the Acrobat. But honestly, Acrobat is proven its worth here so far. 75 muscles for what? I don't remember anymore, but I know I need 75 muscles for something. Let's go to sleep for the night. Didn't you need the muscles for a mango tree? You might be right. You might be absolutely correct, and we already got a mango tree drop from Tiger Slimes earlier, so I could just be saving all these muscles for literally no reason. And no one told me? Until now? Ooh, heart event. I have never seen any of Leo's heart events, so let's uh, let's do this. What are you doing, Chloe? He remembers my name. Um... 
We're thinking about someone special. I don't understand that yet. Maybe when I become an elder someday. What's up, little buddy? Tell me about the place you come from, your home. Oh, there's a lot to tell, my friend. There is a lot to tell. Um, it's like here, but colder. I live on a farm. There's a town full of people. I don't know if you'd quite understand. There's forests, beaches, and mountains. Let's start off. What is... Willy? Is that... What the heck is Willy doing up here? Am I crazy? Is that... He's, he? Are you supposed to be there? You sussy Willy? What on earth is this? I'm... I'm, I'm so, so derailed. What the heck? Secret Willy? <laughs> Why is he hiding in a tree? Or is he hiding behind the tree on the beach? I can't tell. What in the world? Alright, we're just gonna forget about that. <laughs> There's forest, beaches, and mountains. Sounds nice. I thought I might have had more options after that to build a full picture for him. Are there other kids? What does that matter to a bird? <laughs> Cut him deep. Ooh, yeah, there's other kids. Willie's not even blinking. Look at this guy. I know I'm not actually a bird, Chloe. I'm like you, but I don't like thinking about it. Because I'm so al alone. My bird family, I feel like I belong. But I don't belong. I mean, wherever you can find the most belonging and value in life, why should anyone else's opinions matter? I mean, if, you, if, if you're not happy with it, then absolutely seek something better, but... I mean, if it's just, if it's just because I came along and shattered your whole worldview here, then... Tell me to step off, honestly. I don't belong anywhere. That's not true. Everyone belongs somewhere. Poor kid. Alright, I, I had a feeling he was going to come into play here. I just... <laughs> oh. Poor lad. I wonder if there's some way to help. Get some Argon love in, in chat for, for Leo. Just spam it. Spam it to high hell. Spam it to high Hellvite? Hold on. That's Hellvite right there. I believe that is our final mineral. Not to co completely derail the sentimental experience we just had with, with young Leo. Speaking of which, here's a food from my home that me and my family enjoy. I hope you like it. Willie helped me write this. That must have been some quick... <laughs> that must have been a quick lesson. Holy heck. Oh my gosh, my, there's so many different ways my brain is going right now. We got a poi recipe, we got Hellvite, we got Leo making me all sad and stuff. At the end of the day though, this Hellvite is something that we have been hell-bent on finding for a hell of a long time. And that's it. That's our mineral collection complete right there. We just have to go donate the Hellvite and the Aeronite and... We're done. <laughs> We're done with that part of the museum. We still have the artifacts, obviously, to go. Barring this rusty cog, because that one just didn't register in our collection here for whatever reason when we picked it up, but we do have one in the museum. So we're just missing these uh, four right here. Very, very exciting times. We're so close. So close on this. PG-13. I don't give a damn. Just kidding, just kidding. PG-13. Alright. Sell all those. Um, what the heck was I even doing? I, that, that all happened the moment I stepped out my door. There's an ocean outside your door. But literally. So we were talking about the 75 muscles thing. I remember that. We also have some taro root here. Which I don't know if I want to grow, if I want to seed maker more of that right now. Probably a good idea. At least seed maker like a few of these things. Stay on top of it so that we have uh, some in the ground at all times ready to go. And 
then, yeah, so what did we need these muscles for again? Don't forget the Luau skirt. That's, what, 50 tarot roots? I will not forget. We will get there at some point or another. How are the bananas going? Banana sapling coming in strong pretty quick here, I think. You know, it's, uh... It's, it's hanging in there. It's, it's right now, it's just a plantain sapling. It's going to take a little while to get to go full banana. Are plantains just like mini bananas, or is there more to it than that? I, I first discovered plantains when I was doing... There was like a project we had to do for 8th grade way back in the day where we had to research a country of our choice and sort of like prepare a food and do a little presentation for it. And the country I picked was Tuvalu because I was a weirdo who wanted to pick a country that nobody's ever heard of before. So I did, I did research like the most obscure country I could and plantains were part of their local delicacies and I was like, ooh, I've never even heard of these things. But are they like literally just mini bananas? Some wild bait, don't mind if I do. Plantains are more like potatoes than bananas. That's that's a surprise. Well, take your word for it. Totally different fruits. Do they? I I don't know if I've ever even eaten a plantain. To be honest with you, let's have a look here real quick. Um, so what did I need the muscles for? Seventy-five muscles was for a mango sapling. You're absolutely right. So that, that's just some sashimi waiting to be made, as far as I'm concerned. Mahogany seed, luau skirt. What else are we looking for here? Nothing? Like, we already got everything, I guess, that we need out of this guy. We got all the recipes and everything. But he is, like, vibing, so I appreciate that. We'll be back for more stuff for cosmetics and things like that in the future, for sure. But for right now, these muscles can go the way of my stomach. Get in my belly. Plantains are best fried. Is it like a bananas foster type situation, even though they're they're not bananas and I've just been told that? Alright, wild bait we don't actually need. I'll go ahead and plant some more tarot tubers down here. I will happily. See, mangoes are better food than sashimi and are more and are more renewable. Invest in the plantation, IMO. We do we have the one mango tree right now. Do you think that's not gonna be enough for our purposes? Like we could we could invest in another mango sapling. It might not be the worst idea, but we, we're spending so many days and taking so much time that I feel like we're gonna have a a big stack of mangoes by the end of it. Honestly, like, what are we doing with these pineapples though? <laughs> At the end of the day, maybe maybe mangoes, sashimi. We just got pineapples chilling right here, staring at us from uh, from beneath their leafy canopies. Maybe it's time to upgrade. Little pineapple goodness. Sweet and tangy tropical treat. You're literally just gonna bite into a pineapple like a whole actual apple. Chloe's just built different. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, pineapples are very good energy. Could eat blueberries too. That's very true, honestly. Alright. What are we doing today, though? We're going back to the volcano. We're looking for more aquamarines. We're looking for more loot. And really, I mean, at the at this point, I probably could just wait on... Um... Oh, you know what? I should check the resort. Let's go see who's going to be coming into the resort here. Before I go volcano, volcano spelunking. Because we do need to meet up with Gus at some point here. Do people come off like at a, right around 11? Or we'll just hang out for a little bit, I guess. We'll just chill. Just chill over here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind me, I'm just a little frog. Yeah, we don't have the tropical curry recipe yet. But we'll get there. We will get there. We got Sam, we got Abigail. Is that it? We got Alex. Hey, you know what? Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be like Clint and Pierre and, and Morris. Probably not Morris, but that would be kind of funny if he just showed up here sometimes. 
This is where he landed. I bet there's some cool stuff deeper in the island. Willie said we have to stay here. Bummer. Willie says we have to stay on the beach, and I brought my sword and everything. Wait, you brought your sword? Where are you keeping that thing? Oh my gosh. Uh, the island life. I could get used to this. They're all looking at me in sync. That was a little freaky. <laughs> Sam living his best life. Yeah, he's just, he's, after after Joe Mart ended, and now he's like working at the museum or whatever, he's, uh, I don't know. He's putting in a lot of vacation time. Well earned, perhaps. Hard for me to say. At any rate, let's go, um, let's go volcano here. Alex is so buff. I mean, I would hope so, based on his uh, his very athletic lifestyle. Unless he was just putting on a front for us, which, you know, Chloe might be worth it. I would say probably she is. I think Chloe's pretty good. Uh, so we go Cinder Shards. We have a lot. We have a lot of Cinder Shards now for some enchantments and stuff. Let's go Roots Platters. Some magma caps for extra insurance, and away we go. Where does Chloe keep all the stuff that she carries in her backpack? That she doesn't, uh, she's been un unable to buy? Look, it's not fair. It's not a fair comparison. Chloe has, like, what, was it called Hammer Space? Because she's a video game protagonist? Abigail has no excuse. I don't care what, uh, I don't care where you get it. I don't, you're not keeping a, a full sword in a bikini. Or in any kind of two-piece swimsuit. I guess it wasn't really a bikini, but. <laughs> where is it? I honestly don't know the definition of what, like, a bikini is. Like, what constitutes the difference between a bikini and any other kind of swimsuit. Other than, like, a one-piece swimsuit, obviously. I don't know if that's something I should know, or if I'd be weird if I did know that. Probably, I'd, I'd tend towards the latter, honestly. Get out of here! Get out of here, you sucker! All right, we don't we don't need to spend too much time on these early floors. We just want to we want to progress as far as we can, as far and as fast as we can. But, but the Magma Lurkers, though? Just sneak a little Dragon Tooth in there? Okay, maybe not. Better luck next time, kid. I will take this, and we'll take this uh, button here, too, as well. Sneak around. There we go. A single aquamarine would go a long way, though, honestly. The fact that, we, that we're that we searching for, like, aquamarines and stuff now, and we have so many just waiting at home that we could uh, could, could utilize if we only had access, that is, is a little disheartening. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to deal with some of this, some of this crowd here. We'll do a little crowd control to Major Tom. I will also eat a Roots Platter. For some reason, I keep forgetting to do that, to do that now, even though I was in such a good habit of doing it before. Aw, oh, man. It is still going to take a little while to get used to the range of this dagger, even though I've been using it now for a little while. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll toss the amethysts and see what's what here. So that's like literally right outside the volcano. That's, that should be an easy one to find. Let's just not forget it when we actually leave the volcano today. This is quite a journey for a single button, by the way. It's like way over... Oh, it's over there. What the heck? What the heck am I doing in here? I guess there are a lot of crates that I can make use of. Okay, let's eat up real quick. Yeah, those pineapples definitely come in clutch a lot more than the sashimi ever did. Sashimi was a good mid-game mid food. I think pineapples are, are where we go from here. Especially because now we have so many 
plant pineapple plants over on our ginger island farm. We can make great use of it. There we go. If we ever need any more pineapple seeds, we know where to come. Alright, it is a little late in the day. This is a much bigger floor than I expected. I think we can probably power through to floor 5 and then uh, dip out from there. I don't know if I'm going to want to go all the way to floor 9 this time. Seems like it might be a bit of a risky gamble. You can always craft another totem. That's true. We have no uh, we have no lack of dragon's teeth. That's for sure. How much you go without saying at this point? We'll need to craft one eventually anyway. So who knows? There might be yet another trip to Pelican Town in our future before everything's said and done on Ginger Island. Quick twenty-five dragon teeth. No big deal. Honestly, based on the amount of time that I've been spending in this volcano and, like, how... Like, this this is the main thing that I've been doing on the island, obviously. And how many lava lurks that I go out of my way to kill. It's not too surprising that I'm at the amount of dragon teeth that I am. Maybe I'm getting lucky on some of the drops, or at least I was to begin with. But I think it's starting to even out, and it is going to be more apparent over time that this is... That maybe dragon teeth are not as rare as we realistically give them credit for. Or maybe I just am that dang lucky. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that one. Come to your own conclusions. So yeah, if we're not going to go floor 9 on this one, then we might as well just make the most of the floors that we will be going through. Floors, uh, floor 4. I guess floor 4 is the only one that we're going to have to really plunder for all its resources at this point. Hey there, Blade. What am I working on? Right now, I'm working on, um... Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I, I want a Dragon Tooth weapon, so I, that would be nice to get. But otherwise, I've been gathering Cinder Shards for various enchantments. We did get our Enchanted Copper Axe. That's powerful now. Which was very a very, very nice get. Beyond that, I think we're mainly waiting for bananas, aren't we? There might also be some, like, journal scraps and stuff that we need to still find. Some more, um... Some more golden walnuts just from the dungeon in general. I am a little aimless right now. However... I'm still having fun, and that's what matters at the end of the day. We did- we've done a lot of progress today. That much is without question, honestly. We need to start uh, focusing more on befriending Leo, too. I need to keep keep that in mind. But we've already given him all his gifts today, or this week, so... That is the nice thing. Uh, so these, this one was right here. Okay, perfect. There's an ostrich egg there as well. You know what? Three ostrich eggs in the, uh, in the pouch is worth one in the shipping bin, as far as I'm concerned. We haven't shipped an ostrich egg yet, have we? Ostrich egg. That's that one right there. We might as well ship one of the ones that we got. We're going to have to do it eventually. Let's bite the bullet now. We'll bring back the Omni Geode. Might as well bring the stone. And let's go. Get a load of the 25 dragon's teeth. It's a little much. We've, we've gone a little overboard with the dragon teeth for sure. But it's kind of my brand now, honestly. What if I just go trade all 25 for banana saplings? Would you be mad? I would be mad, personally. But it would be kind of funny. Ostrich eggs sold. We got some cacti here. We did make a pilgrimage back to back to Pelican Town briefly. Let's go ahead and put this away. We'll grab these. Might as well grab all the coal. At this point, we don't even need to really do anything with these Omni Geodes anymore, other than to maybe get another Prismatic Shard out of one. That would be pretty nice. For right now, I think we just call it a night. Can we already make Warp Totems to Ginger Island? We can now, yeah. So technically, we could uh, use some of our Dragon Teeth for that. And we'd have more things we could do back on the mainland, which might honestly be the play at this point with the, with the amount of time we still have to wait on our banana sapling to grow. 
We'll see. We'll see how we feel as the uh, as the challenge progresses here. There's another piece of Hellvite right there. <laughs> it's just that easy. And some pancakes from Gus, of all people. Oh, the Moonlight Jellies. We could make a pilgrimage back to back for the Moonlight Jellies. That that could be that could be fun. That could be a fun way to end off the stream. I mean, not end off the stream necessarily. We still got like 20 minutes left, but it might be a fun little diversion. Don't don't forget to make a good supply of poi to give to Leo. How do you make poi? I I mean, he gave me the recipe, but I just like totally lost over it. Poi, it's just four taro roots. We do want to preserve some of our taro roots for goodies at the island trader. Not that any of those are strictly necessary, but I want them. I want them. Sound like Gollum in here. Do things grow when you're not on the island? I, I, I would assume so. I can't see a reason why they wouldn't grow, unless Ginger Island is its own little pocket universe. It would be a weird interaction to me if things didn't grow on Ginger Island, but who knows. Did I craft the totem for when I went back to Pelican Town? No, the first one, the first time we went back to Pelican Town there, the only time so far, was because um, we found an island warp totem in the mines, or in the dungeon, in the volcano, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm talking about, there's only one place on, on Ginger Island that fits the bill. Day 28 on the island. It is, it is a full day, a full year, not a full year, a full, a full month of celebration of being on Ginger Island. That's kind of exciting, for sure. This is not refreshed yet, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, not yet. Okay. She's hungry. Cha Why is it called the Hungry Challenge? I have, honestly have no idea. <laughs> At any rate. Yeah, maybe it is more worth it than I realized to just, like, head back and not wait on this banana sapling so much. Now that we have this plethora of dragon teeth at our disposal, it might be a good time to actually... to really invest in this. Maybe maybe we've, we've mined this island for all we can at this point. Read it, because you can't eat? Uh oh. <laughs> I probably, I mean, I, I should probably read sometimes. I probably would have explained exactly why it's called the Hungry Challenge, but... Yeah, maybe we've mined the island for all that it's worth at this point, and it's time to time to go home for the time being. As long as we have an island wolf totem to our name, we can always come back here for free. Don't need to wait on the banana saplings necessarily. I think that we're, uh... We don't have enough for this, right? We need, seven, we need 17... Or we need three more to make 20, because we have 17. I can speak, I swear. Build farm totem first. Yeah, we can't build the farm obelisk yet, unfortunately, without three more golden walnuts. Check the island trader. There's something cool on Sundays that I need to know about. It's either that, it's either we head back to Pelican Town, or I think we probably could just uh, sleep through the days and get our, get our banana sapling grown. Like just like, cause I, I don't feel like we need to go through the volcano dungeon that much anymore. We'll probably need to do it a few times yet. The luau skirt, I got some tropical beds and stuff. Nothing jumping out at me here, but. Let me go ahead and put up to a poll here. We are getting towards the end of the stream, but this will inform our decisions for uh, for the stream to come tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and say... What should we do? Jades? Wait, I can, tr I can trade jades? Or jade... F oh, are you just talking about the jade farm back in Pelican Town? What should we do? Sleep... Four bananas. Go back home. 
and do other stuff therein. What are y'all most interested in seeing? Because I could go either way with it. I'm alright to just like hibernate for a little bit and get our banana sapling grown, if we want to do that. Or we can go back to Pelican Town and start working on our pursuits there. Get our desert obelisk built up, but get our quest done. Like the, uh, the pirate's wife quest and do all sorts of fun things there. Either way is good by me, but it would be a good idea to probably establish our island obelisk as soon as possible. So, there's pros and cons either way. Let's see, I will I will do some more uh, terror roots here, I guess, in the seed maker. Eat terror root? I would never. Sleep for bananas. Currently, most people seem to want us to sleep for bananas, so we'd probably, what the, what that would look like is we'd sleep, we'd come out and um, check, we'd check the, we'd check cheese quest board just in case, see what's available to us. Check for snake spines and stuff. Snake spines and I think the rib cage as well is an artifact spot. And then we check the, um, we can give gifts to Leo. So there's a few things we could do any given day, but we don't need to go to the mines anymore, I feel like. I think we're in a good spot there with our combined rings, and we got we got our two lucky rings here, so we're not worried about the about panning anymore either. Alien the Jades. They are it is tempting. It is tempting. I'm not gonna lie, but once we're done with our with our banana grind, with sleeping through it, then we'll get to them. We'll get to them even faster. At least as far as our time goes. As far as Chloe goes, it's, I mean, it's going to be a lot, lot, a lot more days, but... She's a trooper. She can do it. Right? Wait a second, where is it? Uh... Nope. Where, where's... The, oh, it's, it's this one. It's this one. What makes her what makes her happy? There we go. Yeah, she's, she's good. She's good. But the Dragon Tooth weapon? I do want a Dragon Tooth weapon. You make an X... I mean... The Dragon Tooth weapon would be so, so nice, honestly. But I don't know if we need it, necessarily. It would it would be nice, for sure. Hmm. I'm conflicted. I'm very conflicted now. Because I, I, do, I do want a Dragon Tooth weapon, but I like the Dwarf weapon good enough. I think it's probably fine for the things that we need it for. I need to just focus on what we need to do. The Dragon Tooth weapon may come in time. We might come back for, uh, we might come back to hunt one down later on. But for right now, because for, for all I know, for all that I'm trying to remember or anything here, we might need to do more volcano plundering anyway. But for right now, I think chat has spoken. 75% of people want us to sleep for bananas. And I'm with you, honestly. Let's get, let's, let's do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just focus. Uh, oh, you know what? The th you know what is another thing that we need to consider is the island resort. We need to wait. We need to get Gus here at some point. We need to know when he's gonna be here so that we can um, buy the island curry, right? Or the tropical curry recipe. Is no one coming to the to the to the resort today? By the way. <laughs> I thought I thought they they were usually here by this time. Maybe Sundays are is, is closed for business or something. The beach resort is open. Where are all my peeps at? Maybe there's not just maybe it's just like a chance for people to come by. Extended stream, please. We do have our 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 streak of rare moonlight jellies to <laughs> to worry about. That's a fair point. No one's here because of the festival. Oh, that makes so much sense. I'm dumb. It's a festival day, yeah. I mean, we've already missed festivals at this point. We've missed the luau. I think we can miss this one too. Much as much as it, it, it does dismay me a little bit. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a gift for Leo. Cause I'm just kind of I'm spinning my wheels here right now. We might as well at least give. Give Leo a gift here, and then go from there.
See what this parrot has to say too, I suppose, when we're in here. Oh, Leo's not freaking here. What the heck? Where'd he go? You, I, I can see it in your eyes. I know that you know where he is. Yeah, we could go. We could go make the make a totem and see the festival if we wanted to, real quick. What the heck? Did you see? <laughs> I think I just saw through the matrix for a second. Where the heck is Leo? I've only seen him in so many different places around this island. Don't tell me Leo's at the festival too. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Seems unlikely to say the least. Is he on the beach down here and I just like walk past him? Where the heck does Leo hang out? Wait, where would Leo be on a nice sunny day like this? Not by the Pirate's Cove, but that much I'm almost certain. Check the Bird Shrine Room. Does he hang out there sometimes? Honestly, would not have crossed my mind to check this, so thank you if this does turn out to be the case. He does not appear to be here. Yeah, I don't know where I don't I don't know where my man Leo is. I I really don't. I feel like I've I've scoured the island at this point. Oh well, maybe we just wait until tomorrow. Give him his gifts then. All right. Check his hood again. I think he's there this time. I'm too far away now. I'm just, I'm just, and, and, and I'm lazy. All right. Well, this has been productive so far. Let's get through one more day here. We'll start, we'll get into the start of fall. Actually, you know what? I honestly think, I honestly think it might be worth it to, to end off on the festival here. That could be fun. That could be a fun way to end things off if we head to the, to see the, the moonlight jelly, the rare moonlight jelly. We have made a tradition of it. We need to see if it comes to pass again. I am willing to make a a warp totem to make that happen. Let's do it. Let's stop being little like stingy Grinches here with with how like oh ho hum. Do I need to be on the island? Do I need to not be on the island? That's just me being like I don't even know. I'm just being stubborn and prideful or something. Let's actually make some moves here. All right, so we need dragon teeth. We need one dragon tooth, I think, only for an island warp totem. Some ginger and some hardwood. We can make that happen. Let's do it. We're gonna go back to the farm. Yeah, I just feel a little aimless right now, and I and I think that the only reason is because I'm not uh, because I'm trying to stick around on Ginger Island and wait out this banana sapling. But I mean, that's the that's the way chat wants it to go too. So we're gonna go ahead and do this festival, and then probably next stream we'll sleep through until the bananas are ready, and then we will continue from there. And from that at that point, once we have the island obelisk, we can really start to snowball, and I think that's when we're gonna really enjoy things. So, Island Warp Totem crafted successfully. Let's go ahead and grab... Do we need to bring anything else? At least bringing some stuff home then. I can bring the Helvite and I can bring the Aeronite. We can, we can donate those if we make it there in time, which I don't know that we will, honestly. Um... Wait, am I... Am I allowed... I can't take the boat home, can I? Because it'll put me out on the beach, and that's where the festival is, so I can't do that. The coconuts, the gems. I can bring I can bring some aquamarines home from or back to back here so we can do some enchanting when I come back. Build that parrot to my left. I can't do that right now, unfortunately, because we don't have uh we need three more golden walnuts for that, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe two, I'm not sure. 
Bring home the dragon teeth and the coconuts. I can co-sign that. We'll, we'll, bring, we'll bring back our... Bring back nine coconuts, because we got one at home. Actually, just bring back all the coconuts. Why not? Why, why even worry about it? Yeah, coconuts for the desert obelisk. We'll bring that back. We'll go get our dragon teeth. We'll bring, we'll bring some of those back. Not all of them, because we might still want to hold on to it here for a stack if we're going to go farm some more, but I don't know if we need to. We can we can still make it back. I'm pretty sure we can. We just have to use a farm warp totem. All right, so we'll bring the dragon teeth. We do still. We do. Yeah, we want. We only want. Let's let's only bring the dragon teeth that we need. We'll bring the ten that we need because we want some here for our own purposes as well as to craft more island warp totems if we need to. We're not gonna be able to make this in time. These uh this donation. So I'm gonna put those away probably, or we'll bring them back, but maybe donate them later. You can still go back, it'll just spawn you outside of the beach. We'll give it a try, and at least see. And then if not, we can always trade some terror roots for a farm war totem and get back that way. I'm alright with that either way. So let's take all this stuff back. Is this what we're what we're going back with? Do we need anything else, or are we are we good? Bring Prairie King? I'm not gonna sleep back at home. That's I, I'm gonna bring the island warp totem so we can warp back. Because we still want to sleep here and do our, like, snake spine hunting and everything in the future. But I think we're good otherwise. Golden coconuts? I can bring back the, the one golden coconut, because we already did the one earlier today. I can bring back this one here so that we have it ready to go. And I think I'm happy with that. Bring ostrich eggs for processing or cooking. I guess we're not doing anything here with them, so that's probably a good idea. And I think I'm happy with that. Let's go see if the boat will let us uh, let us leave, and if not, we'll do a little terror root trading. We may have missed the luau, but we're I, we've we've broken our streak of festivals. However, um, the most important one to us the we got to see that rare green moonlight jelly. It might not even show up if we're not there. We gotta be careful. Let's go return to Stardew Valley. I think we're good. I think we're good. It seems to be letting me go back, unless Willie all of a sudden turns around and he's like, Sorry, kid. Can't get there. There's too many moonlight jellies in the way. Alright, so it does just drop me here. Speed run trick? Skip the skip the beach with this one weird trick. Speedrunners hate him. For a second, I was very concerned that I had not brought the warp totem back for some reason. I was—I don't know why that crossed my mind, and I had like a gut-wrenching panic. But it's all good. It's right there. We're fine. Timby, don't worry. We're gonna be—we're gonna be back for for good pretty soon here, buddy. Only gotta wait it out a little longer. All right. Let me go ahead and I'll deposit all this stuff. Old coconut. We'll just leave an ostrich egg. I don't think we need it for anything. We can make we can make mayo out of it if we wanted to. But for right now, we're just, we're just gonna leave it with our other important things around here. Might as well clear out our farm machines. Get a little wood path for for whatever reason. What on earth? There's oh there's trees blocking my path here. What the heck? How'd these trees get start growing out this way? Sprinkler isn't watering him. It, it waters him in spirit, okay? We don't have our watering can either, so we can't water him today, unfortunately. You know what we can do, though? Little yoink and little yoink. Build up our cactus root supplies. We're making it. We got four right now. We got some growing on Ginger Island. We got more growing here. We'll be in good shape. Still sad about the luau. It was it was just an unfortunate reality, just the timing and everything, but it's okay. We can't dwell on the past too much. I should have brought my axe too, so I can clear some of this nonsense. I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning up to do when I actually come back here for real. But for right now, I don't think we 
Is there anything else we want to bring back to Ginger Island with us while we're here? Or are we just, uh, are we just here for the festival mainly, you think? Can you move the sprinkler so it waters his bowl? It doesn't let me put it right here, unfortunately. For whatever reason. I can try and move the chest, I suppose. Yeah, the chest is empty now, so we might as we can move that. Maybe put it right like that. And then we'll put the chest back there. More bombs. Aquamarine! You got you got me? You got me. We need the aquamarines. We got 31 aquamarines. That should be plenty. I will bring two more so that we can do our final enchants of our dwarven dagger. But I do think I want to go all in on the crit chance. I think that's a smart play. All right. Quick little tour around the farm while we wait things out here. We had so much progress today. It's it's oh man, supply crates, a little Hello Fresh, little golden clock. Not quite. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies has begun at the beach. We'll make it down there post haste. No worries. Yeah, there's a lot of progress today for sure. We kind of kind of meandered a little bit in the last half here, but I'm still happy with how things happened. Jades? Do we need to bring? I mean, we got the jades in our quarry. I'm not going to worry about them too much right now. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make a run for it. But let's just go. Scythe for the wheat. We can maybe make a play for that. Haley, my beloved. Should have brought my camera. You always you always do forget. Some things never change. Some things never change. Hey, Gus, I just want to say, want to see you at that island resort sometime, buddy. I hear you make a mean tropical curry. I'd like to know, I'd love to know the recipe. Wink, 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 wink. All right. We already brought the slingshot and everything. Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, we came here for one reason and one reason only. We want to uphold tradition. Should we launch the, launch the boat? Absolutely. I think this is a nice, calming way to end off a good stream, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> the frog hat. Hopefully the frog hat doesn't scare the scare the rare one away. Man, something about this festival just never gets old. I just I just love it. Like I don't know if it's the music or the atmosphere or it always feels like so final and good way to wrap up a, a long season. This is a very long season for us on summer on Ginger Island. Full of ups and downs and all sorts of different things. Crazy how far we've come in just one season of uh, of Ginger Island. After seven years of other stuff. Oh yeah, there's the re there's the rare green moonlight jelly. By the way, definitely would not have come. It, maybe it would have shown up on Ginger Island if we were still there. Maybe it would have missed us. One in ten million chance, right there. We just got it. Can you believe it? Can you believe how lucky this man is? All in, all in day, day's work, as far as I'm concerned. Two lucky rings, bunch of dragon's teeth. Prismatic shard. And now a rare green moonlight jelly. I think that's a good, that's a wrap. Let's... Uh, we don't really need to harvest the, harvest the wheat necessarily, but I guess it's probably better to bring the scythe anyway. Just to have the option. And let's head on out, shall we? Yeah. Seven years in a row. We're so we are so lucky. Unbelievably lucky. Alright. Get out of here, Scythe. I don't need this hay at all. Get it out of my face. Thought we would be stuck much longer on Ginger Island. I did too, honestly. I didn't realize how uh how readily accessible exits to Ginger Island would be for us until it came to pass, and then I was kind of like stunlocked by it, but now that I know that we have, especially because we have so many dragon teeth, I'm not going to be too stingy about it going forward, probably. 
Either way, this banana, banana sapling will come along in due time and save us even having to worry about those totems. For right now, I think it's time for a little Prairie King, don't you? 1 a.m., what little 1 a.m. late night Prairie King? Let's get it in before we pass out of sheer exhaustion here. Start a new journey. Hit me up. It's a tra tradition. We always end every stream with Prairie King, barring like a few very rare exceptions, but we do our best. We got we got to maintain our le our high level of skill in Prairie King. We're the best to ever do it, some might say. But those but whoever's saying that would actually be wrong because we have yet to beat Factor's challenge. That's why we're here though. To prove our mettle. We can do this. After everything else we've conquered in this challenge, I I have no doubt that Fector's, Fector's challenge is close at hand. We just got to be a little more aggressive about it sometimes. I get the distinct feeling, by the way, that tomorrow's stream is going to be full of a lot of uh, a lot more progress too. Like this, like like I said, every stream from here on out, at least until we get the Skull Cavern grind, is probably going to be. Chock full of thing after thing after thing. And tomorrow's is going to be no exception. We're going to have like obelisks to build. We're going to have so many things to do. I don't even know. I don't even have a full grasp of it myself, to be honest with you. I am excited to start on these, uh, like Mr. Cheese quests as well. I've always heard cool things about them, and I'm curious to see how it all pans out for me. We also do need to get this, like, radioactive ore and stuff at some point, which I'm pretty sure is just from the dangerous mines. I think that's the only way to get that. For some reason, I, I guess I thought it would be in the Volcano Dungeon. Because it's, it was kind of lumped in there with all the other Ginger Island stuff, but it does not appear to be. Probably should have swapped the coffee for this machine gun to be realistic, but it's alright. We'll just... Make do with what we got. Now we can do it. There we go. Dropping lots of nukes. Dropping like they're hot. Oop. That was uh, that was a bit of a pitiful display. I apologize. But we are we are a little over time on the stream anyway. Maybe that's the game's way of telling me, you know what, quit while you're ahead. Quit while you got two lucky rings under your belt. Don't make a <laughs> Don't be a martyr. All right, let's go. Let's go to sleep for the night. What are the dangerous mines? There's like a shrine of challenge you can activate to, in as part of one of Mr. Chi's quests to make the mines like just the basic, the basic ones, the the ones in Pelican Town, like a lot more dangerous, from what I understand. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I know that it is a thing that exists. At any rate. Second round? Nah, I wish I could, but I, I do have other things to tend to today, unfortunately. I was I was already pushing my luck by going overtime like this. Please buy a lottery ticket today. I think I've already expended all my luck. It's it's like it'd be like squeezing blood from a stone at that point. I digress for now though. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you did enjoy the stream. If you did, please leave a like but like down below. It really does help out the channel. Also, subscribe if you want to be notified next time I go live, which will be tomorrow, same time, same place, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we start, where we will continue with our Ginger Island grind, get our bananas probably, and um, just open the floodgates. It's going to be a very, very interesting stream. You don't want to miss it if you've been part of the challenge so far. Or, if I mean, if you're watching the VODs and everything, you know what, still massive amounts of respect to you. Greatly appreciate all the support this challenge has gotten so far. I've been having so much fun with it. And it's, uh, just all the support is really heartwarming. So thank you guys for making this possible for me. I never want to lose sight of that. For now, I'm going to get out of here. I will leave you to the rest of your day. I'm going to send you off with some fan art as per usual. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and have a great night. Bye!